Okay. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. I think we're good. Late as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I always forget to test the audio real quick and make sure that the levels are okay, so... Apologies. Ah, oh, goodness. Hello! How we all doing today? Everyone doing good? What a week it's been, huh? What a week it has been. Mime is Lemon's evil version in the citrus verse? <laughs> no, that's melon. You're thinking of melon. No. Is why I handed run? Ah, who knows? We'll see. What is this blasphemy? Uh, well, so, yeah, I'll fill you in, I'll fill you in. Um, to keep things simple, uh, it's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a long two weeks, in fact. Uh, this is actually the portion of my summer where a lot of things are all coming together all at once. Uh, a lot of it, you know, just a lot of IRL stuff. And, you know, nothing nothing bad, but man, oh man, is it a busy time. Like, I'm pretty much out of commission for the next three weekends or so. Um, now, hopefully I'll, of course, still be able to put out some videos and things. Um, I'm, I've got a couple that are either done and just need to be edited or things like that. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's going to be rough for the next couple weekends. And kind of feeling it. So, rather than do anything wildly crazy, we're just, you know, we're just gonna play some Dark Souls. Like, normally, for once. <laughs> Which, as a couple people in chat were already saying, is like, that itself will be a challenge, because I'm just not used to doing that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a good time, we're just gonna relax, just play some Dark Souls. Uh, probably a lot of chatting, honestly. Uh, so if you guys got any questions and things, I'll do my best to kind of just keep an eye on chat and ask on occasion, or answer on occasion, I should say. Um, but yeah, since I don't need to like fully focus, we're not doing anything too difficult here. Uh, and then, as far as this weekend's video goes, um, unfortunately, it's not going to come out this weekend. Uh, in all honesty, it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. Uh, and you guys know me, I like my, I like my videos to <laughs> be at least decent quality, so... Uh, still working on it. Hopefully it'll come up by next weekend, uh, but it just wasn't turning out quite right, so I'm gonna have to re-edit things a little bit. Um, but yeah, so other than that though, everything else is doing pretty good. Um, as far as today goes, like I said, we'll just be doing a little bit of chatting, just kind of relaxed. We got some music playing, so hopefully that kind of keeps the good vibes going. Ow. And uh, there is one run that I have in mind for Dark Souls that I would love to theorycraft with you all because I don't know enough about it and the wiki page is very uh, sparse and a little confusing so maybe somebody in chat knows more than I do but we'll talk about that in a bit one second I'll read off some chat stuff in a minute let me just get rid of this boss here but thank you thank you for everybody that's jumping in Ow. okay <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Man oh man, huh? What class am I? I'm just a cleric class. Nothing fancy. Yeah, you can tell I'm out of it when I... <laughs> you can tell I'm out of sorts when I die to the asylum demon. Jeez. Yeah, I did get blood earlier this week, and I think I'm still recovering from that, so... At least that's my excuse. <laughs> that's my excuse, and we're sticking to it. I'm out of half of my blood. <laughs> oh, gosh. Favorite boss theme from Dark Souls 1? Oh, from Dark Souls 1. Oh, gosh. That's a good question. Um, You know, it's weird. I don't think I've listened to the boss themes in such a long time. I don't. I can't really place them in my mind. I play so often without the music now these, not these days. But... Uh, oh, okay, we're, we're actually in the room. I thought I'd have a second to walk in. Get out of here. <laughs> My streamer gives blood. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, the blood, sweat, and tears I give is not just virtual. It was it was for a good cause. I mean, every time you give blood is for a good cause, but... Um, yeah, it was... It's If you're capable, I uh, will just say it now, I am... A big advocate for giving blood, you should always give blood, um, if you're able to. 
just because you know you save a life while doing so it's good it's good cause um it's not like they're selling it <laughs> you know <laughs> they're not they're not selling your blood on the black market or anything they're giving it to hospitals for people so um and i i should probably give more often than i do but i am scared of needles so uh but fact of the matter remains if you can and you can muscle up the the energy and the willpower to do so do so if you can all right there we go that's all done let's see what everyone's saying excuse the pause for a minute there i missed quite a few members and other things i apologize somebody joined before we even got started emmanuel labert labit thank you so much for joining us enjoy your emotes enjoy the backgrounds let's see here scrolling on down here simon thank you so much for your donation can't call it a normal run unless you only express yourself in right angles. Ah, dang it, you're right. Try harder. <laughs> I, I get your joke there. <laughs> Ian, thank you so much for the donation. Keep up the great content. My pleasure. We'll try. We'll try. And Rufus, welcome to the club. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy the little backgrounds I added as well. Tyrell, thank you so much for the $20. Love the vids. Hope you keep having a great day. Can't wait for your next vid. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. I'm going to scroll this over a smidge so I can see the chat a little bit easier for myself. That's better. All righty. Ah, hope you feel better. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm feeling a little out of sorts. Like I said, I'm just kind of missing some blood, but... Uh, <laughs> the ultimate challenge Dark Souls without blood. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, God. But, uh... Yeah, no, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I figured just having a little chat with you guys and just kind of playing a normal run for once is probably just the best way to go for today. So, more of that, please. Oh, gosh. Uh, does anyone know if a bow only is a viable option for PvP in this game? In Dark Souls? No, it's not. Um, people will just hold up a shield and come at you with a spear. You'd be dead. You'll be dead. Maybe chat will control the game? Oh, no. We don't want to do that. <laughs> do you, you guys don't want to do that, trust me. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pop humanity so we don't look too crusty. I'll scream. And I think what we're going to do as far as a build is concerned, I'm just going to go with my normal, which is like a mixture of paladin and cleric put together. Uh, I like using the prayers or miracles, I guess, they're in this game. Um... Yeah, I like doing that, so we'll probably stick to that. Can you beat Dark Souls 3 with only crossbows? Currently in the works. Uh, harder than it sounds. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, yeah, it's definitely... Definitely more challenging than I thought it would be. Is the Elden Ring route finalized? Uh, no, no. I actually have been working through the route for Demon's Souls. Um, just because that is the next one in the list. So we'll be doing that first. But I do have uh, all the pot locations all figured out and everything like that. So um, that part of the run, theory crafting, is done. Oopsies. Um, yeah, so we're, we're good there. It's just a matter of uh, figuring out how I want to do the bosses. I'm not sure if I want to first sprint around the entire map since most of it is pretty freeform. And just collect all of the pots that I can. And then go back like map by map. That probably will end up not being the strategy because of I'm sure there's a couple of bosses that are like really hard in the first map, but we'll see. It would make things simpler on me. You know, less things I have to go back and do, but we'll see. What's my least favorite boss in Dark Souls? Name one for each of the three games. That's three questions, not one question. <laughs> no. Dark Souls Dunk Pie Challenge? Impossible. Can't be done. Too many bosses are uh Poison or toxic resistant. And not resistant, uh, immune. So. Wish we could. We cannot. Um, let me think. I, somebody asked me what my favorite music in Dark Souls was. I think. Oh gosh, what was it? I do like Gwyn's theme, let's be honest. Everyone likes Gwyn's theme, but. So it's not a really an original answer, but it is really good. And I'm kind of partial to piano music, so. That makes sense. Uh, favorite boss for the three games. Uh, first game would probably be oh god, they're all so terrible. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, 
first boss, first game's boss. I don't know. Can I beat Elden Ring with crossbows? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played enough Elden Ring to know that. Probably. I'm sure someone's already done it. I assume. I think Gamers we can actually just did it with, like, bows. I'm not sure if there's a huge difference between bows and crossbows in that game. I mean, I assume so, but, you know. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd assume that you can, and that someone's done it already. Uh, let's just name off some bosses. I guess I really like Sif in Dark Souls 1, uh, just because it's kind of iconic. Dark Souls 2, weirdly, I like the... What are the three golden armor guys? I forget their name, it's been so long, but I like them a lot for some reason. Um... In Dark Souls 3, ow. Uh, I do really like the... The wolves. Well, I forget what their names are again. Again, it's... <laughs> kind of, clearly my brain isn't working very well today, so specific pr proper nouns and things aren't really going to be happening. But you know what I mean, the, the wolves of fair or whatever they're called. Those guys. Do I play Dark Souls with Gamers Weekend? No. No, I don't. Um... No, I haven't actually done anything with Gamers Weekend, although he and I have, like, a friendly competition of just, like, you know, just being in the same genre. Uh, so we just kind of poke fun at each other every now and again, and uh, I, th I think we can reference each other every now and again as well, so. Just a friendly friendly relationship, you know how it goes. Abyss Watchers, thank you. Madeir in Dark Souls 3 is awesome. He's alright. He's alright. I think... I think it's he has the problem of being a DLC boss, which means he's like harder than he should be, in my opinion. But but he's fine. Dark Souls no rule run? Nah, I can't be done. I mean I know it can, but nah. <laughs> Carrington, thank you so much for joining. Much appreciated. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy the good stuff. Look at you taking a sippy break. There we go. <laughs> Return from that once thou camest. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame that the painted world isn't, uh... I mean, it's it's plenty fleshed out. It's the first area they ever made. But it's a shame that it kind of got relegated to just a hidden area. Same with the, uh, what is it? The Ash, as Ash Beach. Something like whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. The place with the Dragon Covenant. Such a cool area, but they they went and hit it just because they didn't really have much to do with it. It's like, ah, oh, come on, guys. Worst starting class in Dark Souls One. Mm. Artorius, thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emotes and backgrounds. And Luke, hello. How we doing, Luke? Dark Souls played normally. You're not Lemon. What have you done with him? <laughs> uh, Lemon is currently on vacation. This is Melon. <laughs> Don't don't ask questions. It's best if you don't ask questions. Is this a normal playthrough? I can't believe it. I know. I know. Something happened. I broke. <laughs> Something is wrong. Something is w r o n g wrong. No. Mm, Ash Lake. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dark Souls voice control challenge. Uh, if that's the case, then I don't know how we're doing this. There we are. We need a better weapon, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> I felt that as soon as I swung it. Ashley has the funny music. Does it have music? I guess it. Oh yeah, yeah. The the, <laughs> the the choir just singing in the background. Lemon needed a day off, and instead we have his evil twin melon. That's right. See, you understand. And I'm here to tell you today that today's sponsor is. No, I'm just kidding. No sponsors. No sponsors. Is Melon good or evil twin? Well, considering Melon is always the one that does all the sponsorship deals for me, I guess depends on your value in as, as far as capitalism is concerned. <laughs> oh, God. Did you know there's a dragon head in Elden Ring? I did. It's an incantation. Can you beat Elden Ring with just dragon heads? I think someone's done that. I believe someone has gone through the entire game as the dragon. Ow. Come on, you. Okay. There we go. There we go. No sponsor, unless. <laughs> no sponsor needed. Today is just relaxation day. No business today. Yeah, the sponsor is the like button. There you go. 
<laughs> Sponsor is all of you. If you could all just like the stream. Nah, uh, again, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't actually care. I don't even know if it helps. I don't think YouTube knows if it helps. Let's be real. Okay, you are just being a lot today. I'm just gonna see if you can handle a tight corner. Aha! I cannot, for the life of me, get the timing right. I missed my parry shield. Oh, oh, run away. Run away. Wasn't well, this a nice thing to wake up to? Yeah, no, right? Yeah, we're just having a good time. Taking it easy. It's Sunday. It's the day of rest. Relax. Take a load off. My music stopped. Why did my music stop? Hold on a minute. All right, we gotta fix that as soon as we're done with this bozo. Just notice that. We had a whole... I have a whole gaming list set up here. <laughs> hey, Chunk. All right, one second, one second, one second. Broke mage. Dark Souls, but you change weapon types after each boss. You can only reuse weapon types after you go through all of them. Ugh. <laughs> oh boy, that sounds like hell. Yeah, why didn't this keep going? You were supposed to continue. Yeah, let's push this forward here. YouTube's acting funny. Oh no. All right, well, I guess we're listening to this for a bit, and we'll see if that changes. Um, okay. <laughs> How long are we going to be streaming today? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe two hours at most, probably, if I had to guess. Maybe longer, we'll see. I do have stuff to do today, so, you know, if that comes up, then, uh, that'd be that, but... We'll see. There we go. There you go. Is he just down there? <laughs> Enjoy your new home! <laughs> hmm. You have an impossible challenge? Have fun and relax? Oh, God, can't do that. No one can do that. <laughs> Two hours, is that long enough to beat the game? I don't know. That's long enough to beat the game? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it depends on, uh, depends on the build. Depends on the build. Simon! Today's sponsor is Pythagoras. Providing right angles since before your mother was born. More than likely. <laughs> Thoughts on the hit movie Morbius? Never seen it. I think, what is, what is the meme? It's like, Morbius is the most movie of all time. <laughs> no, honestly, I have been very worn out on superhero movies. I'm sure, sure most of you also feel the same. What do I do for work when not stressing over Souls Lake? Um, that depends on who you ask. Uh, I used to work in a psychiatric unit for a hospital. And as of right now, I do Dark Souls. So, Artorias, thanks for being an awesome person, and I hope that you're doing well. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for being an awesome person and donating. Or, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Morbin time? Yeah, basically, right? Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what fire... I don't... Firebomb. I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what Hollywood has been thinking. It's just... It's such a lifeless industry at this point. I don't know. It seems like everything is just a rehash of a movie that's already come out or that I remember that... Maybe, I mean, maybe they're just catering to the new, the new generation's audience, which makes sense, you know, they, they haven't seen certain movies, so, you know, why not go with a safe bet, and, it's a good business decision, but it's sad to see, let's put it that way. I'm, I'm disappointed that Hollywood has become similar to the games industry, and that they go with safe decisions rather than trying some new IP. Alright, you. All right, you. Take your lumps now. Mm -mm -mm. Your boy. Dark Souls is the greatest game. Is the game of all time. You're right. <laughs> Sorry for filling in some words there. It is absolutely the game of all time. Thank you so much for your donation. Really appreciate it. Ooh. I need you to. I need you to sit down there, my boy. Whoa. Okay. Soulsborne, but you're left-handed. 
I'm already left-handed. <laughs> yeah, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. What if Dark Souls was a movie, or maybe Sekiro would work better because Wolf speaks in game? Sekiro would definitely work better because it has like a full-on plot, and like it's not. By that I mean it's not hidden. You know, it's very obvious like what the plot is. Um, and it would, I think it would just work better just because of the themes. However, that said, it would be a video game movie, which means it would be terrible. So, or at the very, at the very least, a, like, B-rate movie. <laughs> so, yeah, Dark Souls itself would not work. Because a movie has to be pretty straightforward. Like, you can hide, like, a twist, but you can't hide an entire background of lore in a movie, you know. Solaire gets lit today. Solaire is, Solaire is our friend today. Um... Yeah, so, so no, it wouldn't work as a movie. Do I think I'll do any videos on Neo? Yes, uh, one is currently in the works. Uh, kind of fiddling with it a little bit. Uh, but we do have something in the works for sure. Uh, don't murder him? I won't, I won't. He's my buddy today. We're chill today, we're chill. Did I say Solar instead of Souls? Sorry, my brain is kind of... <laughs> my brain isn't working today. <laughs> oh, hold on. We can, get, we can get that. One second. Hold on. Have I ever played Mortal Shell? I've heard bad things. I haven't played it, but I've heard bad things. Gonk Droid, my buddy. I get your joke. I need you to chill. I need you to chill, my guy. How many videos are you typically working on at once? Uh, you know, it depends. Um... As many as my storage space will allow, but uh, no, usually I've at this point in time I've tried to limit it. It's the wrong side. Um, I've tried to limit it to about three challenge runs at one time, um, just because doing more than one is hard. But it's also nice to have when I get stuck. So, like for example, you know, if I'm working on Dark Souls, uh, some you know X only run. If I get stuck on a boss and I start getting frustrated, it's nice to not have to be like, well, guess I don't play video games today. It It's nice to be able to just kind of sit back and go, you know what, I'm going to play Minecraft X Only Run instead and try that and just take a break. And then I can bounce between the two. How long does it... Broke Mage, thank you. From research to upload, how long does a video take? Depends on the video. Um, if it's... Did I have enough? Yes, I do. Praise that song. I'll join your covenant if you give me the good good. That is the good good. Thank you. All right. And now we're golden. Uh, but it depends. If it's like a Dark Souls run, typically about two weeks. If it's a game I'm not familiar with, a little bit longer, maybe three. Uh, but again, also kind of depends on how long the game is, how long the challenge run takes, that kind of thing. But it takes a while. Let's just leave it at that. Mortal Shell is a great game, but you can't get into it. Yeah, you know, it's, I don't know. I'll give it a try at some point, I'm sure. You know, give it a run. But, where's my... Here it is. See, I knew I had one. I'll get into it eventually, give it a try. But, I've heard the bad things, so we'll see. Neo when? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> when the run is done, and then a week after that. Give or take. You think Bloodborne would also work better for a movie? Yeah, it's basically just a horror movie. So that makes sense. That checks out. Let's see if I can kill this guy before he... Yeah. Nobody touches the gate today. What weapon should we use? This mace is holding on for now, but... You know, we're, it's going to start getting outclassed pretty quick. I want a sword. Jesus, guys. <laughs> Everybody relax. Ow. That really hurt. That should not have hurt that much. Is this a paladin run? Basically. Basically. You're right, I should go get the Stora's sword. Good call. <laughs> Heal up a little bit. There we go. Let's see what our damage is looking like these days. Here, hold this for me. 366. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can just kind of 
do this. This might work. Yep. <laughs> I did a GG. There we go. Hopes for Elden Ring's DLC and any hype for the new God of War. Oh, is there a new God of War? <laughs> um, never really played God of War. Or, I did. I played the first one through, and I played the second one through, and then I got to the third one because I had the trilogy, and I was just kind of burnt out at that point. I was like, okay. <laughs> I get it. It's uh, not really for me. It's a button masher, you know, so... Not really... Not really my type of game. I like a bit more finesse with my... Uh, with my combat. There we go. So. Not saying, and now that's to say, that that's the first three. I didn't play, like, the... What do they call it? I didn't play the handheld ones, and I didn't play the new one, which I've heard is pretty good. So maybe... Maybe that's where they changed the formula up a little bit. But... But button mashing and quick time events, just not really my thing. Right, I'm gonna need you to, like... Okay, well, I mean, you can... Hold your shield up if you want. I don't care. There you go. There you go, buddy. I mean, we got we got six more. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. You think the newer game was less of a button measure? Yeah, I'm not sure. New God of War isn't it at all like the old games. Okay, then yeah, I'd probably enjoy it then. Um, and then what was the other game that people were saying? Whatever it was, I don't think I was interested. <laughs> what? Still alive. Oh, how? Why don't you come over here? No. Cheater. Okay. <laughs> Buddy. There you go. Sit down, relax. Take a load off. Hey, it's a backlog stream. Badass. <laughs> it's a backlog's taking a break stream, for sure. Let's see. I think we can get him. Miracles vs. Spells. I win. <laughs> mm. Do an Elden Ring series with Cowboy? Nah. Haven't actually spoken to Cowboy at all. Haven't actually spoken to him. Also, I don't like doing Elden Ring, so, you know. So, yeah, no, that probably won't happen. What's the input for a jump attack? Uh, you have to press forward and R2 at the same time. Um, like, the exact same time. God, the YouTube, the music stopped again. Oh, man. Why not go through the backlog for a break stream? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Go through the backlogs. Like, you mean, like, go through some of my older... Some old games that I haven't played? Uh, because the way I see it is... I can play this game mindlessly. And just kind of talk to you guys. But if I play a new game that I haven't played before, like Hollow Knight or something like that... Um, I'll have to pay attention to what's going on on screen. I won't be able to really pay attention to what you guys got going on, so... Doing that. Alright, let's see here. This is what you get for not checking notifications when they come through? Yeah! What the heck? Right, is this? Let me see here if I can get this to actually. I want it to keep playing after. How do I do that? It shouldn't just stop music once I'm done. Like it should like keep going. That's weird. That's weird. Oh well. Favorite and least favorite boss? What game? Jump on them fist weapons. Definitely OP. What, for Dark Souls? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Can confirm. No, they are not. All right, we need to go buy a new weapon, though, for sure. Or find one. What should we use? What should we use? What should we use? The Astora Sword is fine, but it, you can't upgrade it. Mm, I do like swords, though. Let's just go buy a sword from... Let's just go buy a long sword. That'll be fine. All right. Please show your stats. Uh, sure. Why not? It's just, uh, level 16. Basically the cleric, except I've dumped every point I've had so far into faith. At level 28. 
Gravelord Sword? Oh yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? That is a thing. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go get the Gravelord Sword. That'll be fun. It's y -hander? Nah, too slow. Too slow. Have I done any Demon Souls challenge runs or thought about it? Yes, I am currently working through Demon Souls with fire bombs only. So, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Have I heard of Pegpa? Yes. The perfect parry technique? I'm aware. Would you ever consider playing the Ascended mod for any of the Dark Souls games? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I have played through um, the Ascended mod for Salt and Sanctuary, and that was enough to turn me off of those. <laughs> I, I know better. That that mod creator is uh, more than happy to put any of his players through pain. So, Dark Souls is hard enough. There we go. Grab that. Why well, know a sword, a straight sword? Uh, you know, I I use it all the time, whenever I'm just playing for fun. All right, come on, music. Hey, the music worked. Good. Um, yeah, I use that all the time whenever I'm just having a good time, and that's fine. Fire Drake, thank you so much for joining for four months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I've used it too many times. Let's try something different. I'd like something a little different. Elden Ring Firebomb only when? Eh, give me six months. I'm fighting every single boss, so. <laughs> I'm trying to make it, because we're so late to the party, and because I don't want to ever play Elden Ring ever again, um, we are going to go do absolutely everything. So, aside from the however many endings there are, I don't know how many endings are in that game. I've heard it's an exorbitant amount, so we obviously won't do that, but... Um, but yeah, we're going to try and do everything we can and kill every single boss. So that should take a while. Try the scythe. Scythe is a very good weapon. Scythe is very good. Almost too good. You poor soul. I know. <laughs> like I said, I don't want to touch it again. I don't want people asking me to play it ever anymore. So, <laughs> so we're just going to do what we need to do. Stream is lagging a bit. I think that might have just been my game. I think that might have just been the game. My computer might be hurting a little bit. It needs a hug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse. Do I not like Elden Ring? No, I don't like Elden Ring. I haven't liked it since it came out. It's just not for me. But from what I've seen, and I don't want to say I've, I've been ahead of the curve or anything, but uh, it seems like a lot of people are turning against it lately. Which is a shame, because, you know, you I want people to enjoy a game. But I think a lot of people are kind of realizing the same thing that I realized when I first started, which is like, well, there's there's a lot to do, but much like Skyrim, it's just kind of like, yeah, there's there's oodles and oodles to do, but it's not much it's not much fun if there's not connectivity to it. I don't know, I don't know. When does Sekiro Firebomb run? When Sekiro adds firebombs. All right, who knows? I need to get the Grave Lord Eye. That's back up there. Hold on. We need a Grave Lord Eye Serpent Eye before we get that. Let's get out of here. But who knows? Glad you're not the only one that's not a fan of Elden Ring. Eh, no, you're not alone. As with all games, there's always dissenters. I think it's down here. Yeah, this looks right. Alright, now if you guys could just let me live. Okay, that's the exact opposite of what I asked you to do. <laughs> First death. <laughs> I think. I don't know anymore. Elden Ring is the Souls game you played the most and had the least fun with. Yeah, see, that's that's why I'm just not touching it. Because it's a game that demands your time. Right? Like, it's you can't just play Elden Ring. Like, you can't just play it once and put it back down and be like, okay, that was fun. Like, you need to... It's a 300-plus hour game if you want to see everything there is to do, which maybe I'm wrong in this regard, but a lot of Souls players kind of do that. As big as a lake, but ankles deep. Exactly. Um, yeah, a lot, I feel like a lot of Souls players do kind of like to have that itch now, at least at this point, since we've played so much of the series, uh, to be like, all right, well, they're hiding secrets everywhere, so I need to explore everywhere. So when you make the game as big as that, like, I don't know about you, but I got immediately worn out. I was just like, ugh. I cleared the first map, and I was just like, I'm done, man. I can't. You got how many more of these maps? <laughs> you know, like, and... Uh, 
you know, I cleared the first map, found, found everything I could, and I felt like I was playing Bloodborne again, because all the things I was finding weren't really worth my time. You know, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but with Bloodborne, whenever you found a secret, you're like, oh boy, a secret item. And it was just chalice materials. It was always chalice materials. And, you're, and the chalices sucked, <laughs> you know? So so you were just like, okay, well, uh, thanks, I guess. Ow, jeez, guys, come on now. Love the build variety in Elden Ring. I didn't. I didn't. You know, I, I tried. I tried multiple things. I tried a sword. I tried a spear. I tried my fists. I tried dual wielding. I tried everything. And nothing felt good to me. Which is not a fault in the game. That's just me. Like, just none of them really fit my playstyle, so it just didn't... I just bounced off, you know? But the fire bombs feel good, so... <laughs> so there we go. It turns out my build was just fire bombs all along. Kakaruma! Hello, hope you're doing well. Thanks for the amazing work. Keep it up. Can't wait to see your channel grow more and more. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, it's been wild. I don't know what's going on lately, but we are at 150, maybe even 151,000 subscribers at this point. It's, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's been, it has been a wild time. The fact that this many people keep watching me is, is amazing. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. With that being said, I'm trying to figure out ways to make content that everyone will enjoy. Not everyone will enjoy, of course, obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm a realist, I know not everyone's going to want to watch something if it's not Dark Souls related, but, um, but we are going to probably, and I'll make an announcement later this week, um, but we're probably going to actually start a second channel, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but the, um, I did, tr oh, that's going to hurt, no, oh, we're good, um, Last week, on Wednesday, I did release a video. It was like a minute long, uh, which was just me like, hey, I played Doom 2016 for fun, like as a breather, and here are my thoughts. And I didn't have much to say because it was Doom. <laughs> you know, the, you shoot things. It's a good time. Everything feels good. Bye. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> there wasn't much to say. Um, but I would love to... Ow. I would love to make more of those just to, as like some content um but they don't they aren't going to do well on this channel like i can tell already just by the initial feedback like that people enjoyed it they they liked it but not very many people are looking for that on this channel when this channel is so hard associated with challenge runs great man thank you so much much appreciated enjoy your emotes and such um so with that being the case I think what I will do is I'll just make a second channel where I just upload that like once a week to just go through my backlog and actually get that done. So, was the metronome sound in the background? Uh, that is music. <laughs> we call that music. Or maybe it's just like dubstep, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm listening to right now. The Doom video was very nice. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, now it's uh, it was a lot of fun. It took me like an hour. To throw that together real quick which i know some of you were like it was like a minute long it's like yeah but you don't understand like it takes like a week to throw together a 30 minute video so to be able to throw something together in an hour was amazing um but yeah so like i said we'll probably make a second channel just for uh just so i can start working through the backlogs a little bit have a good time and then uh, and that way we don't screw with the algorithm too much either so, music. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Using quotes. Would you do any challenges for Salt and Sacrifice? Yes, currently working on one. Currently working on one, so don't you worry. Alright, hold on a minute. I didn't pick up the actual thing, did I? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just realized I picked up the ring and not this. Oh, lemon. You goober. Okay, well, that's probably done. Yep. Oh, I'm a fool. I am a fool. I am a fool. Lo-fi beats to kill Tony too? Exactly. Actually, speaking of, uh, I just talked to Spencer this uh, yesterday. He is about 7 out of 15 songs done. Like, you know, pretty much pretty much done with uh, for the lo-fi mix that we got going on. So for those of you that were looking forward to a Soulsborne lo-fi uh, 
music fest that you can turn on for, to fall asleep to. Good news. Progress is being made. Progress is being made. Call the second channel the actual backlog. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I wasn't quite sure what to call it yet. My Discord tried to come up with some names, but they got a little too hyper-focused on trying to make it associate with either logs or lemons. Um, at the current point in time, I was considering calling it Shortcut Unlocked, just because it's they're all going to be relatively short, like two to three minutes each. Um, but the actual backlog is pretty... <laughs> That's actually really good. That might be... That might You might have just won me over on that one. I'll let you know. My favorite Souls game? Uh, you know, I always come back to Dark Souls 1. I think uh, Dark Souls 1 has got to be my, my favorite. Yay! Because it's so fair! No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Brook Mage. It is ironic that a channel called The Backlogs has fans that don't want to see the creator go through their backlogs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Will it include Orphan of Cause in that playlist? I always felt that OST was underrated. I don't remember if we included that one. There is Bloodborne music in it. I know that much. The backlog with a capital. No. No, that'll get confusing for everybody. Also, how would you feel about people having similar video and editing style to you, but different game genres? I don't know what you mean. Like... Like someone also does challenge runs but plays other <laughs> plays other games. I mean, that's fine. People do that already. <laughs> I don't know. We've got Challenger Andy. We've got uh, Gamers Weekend. We've got Baron's Castle. They all do it very similar. You know, similar style of editing. I think. Maybe I'm sure there's obviously distinct differences between us all, of course. And you know, our personalities are all completely different. But you know. Graveless Sword is the hardest side quest now? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. The front logs? See, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, people tried that one, and I was like, eh, it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> the people are stealing Tony. Oh, the front lumber? Yeah, see what I mean. See what I mean? That kind of thing. I should just 24-7 stream to replace lo-fi beats. <laughs> I have heard multiple times that I am relaxing to listen to, so... It's a, it's, a, it's a compliment. I appreciate it. If people are falling asleep to my videos, I'm more than happy for it. Hope I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. Thoughts of returning to XCOM? Uh, I need to just move on to XCOM 2. I would like to move on to XCOM 2. Haven't gotten around to playing it just yet, but uh, it's on the list of games that I'm going to play to relax, or like to take a break. So once we get to that, and once I complete it, uh, we'll see what kind of challenge runs we come up with. I'm sure come up plenty. Alright, is this guy gonna be chill and let me live? Are you gonna go back and relax? I just wanna sit in that coffin. I'm just gonna hide here for a minute. I'm just gonna hide here for a minute. Let's see. Okay. What's my opinions on the Moonlight Butterfly? Um, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not, it's not a hard boss though it can be a hard boss if you don't know what you're doing or if you don't have magic okay if you don't have magic resistance okay good he just kind of leaves you alone cool uh but it also could be extremely hard if you if you're struggling or you don't have any magic resistance so i get you souls like beats to study and relax you that's the plan love the videos keep them up well thank you missed out on 40 minutes of dark souls one that's nah, okay you can rewind it later have a good time appreciate it Oh, boy. What's my favorite Lord Soul? Oh, like, of the main bosses of this game? Um, not Seath, not the Bed of Chaos. Nido's alright. Who's the third one? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? <laughs> Nido. Bed of Chaos. Seath. Number four. Four Kings. Oh, God, yeah, that's why I, I'm blocking them out of my memory. Uh, Nito. I like Nito the most. Let's go with Nito. Did you know that Dark Souls is the Dark Souls of Demon Souls? What? Now, oh, is this going to get... No, it won't get rid of my Lightning Spear. We'll be fine. Just want to make sure. Should get the Blacksmith Hammer? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Not today. I've murdered enough PV uh I've murdered enough NPCs. We don't need to murder anymore. No. What a way to play. I know, right? Feels weird. Gray man, just wanted to say thank you for providing me and others hours of entertainment and also was wondering if you prefer the slow methodical style of Dark Souls 1 or the quicker play style of Bloodborne. Um I like the slow methodical just because I can kind of react a little bit easier. Uh I will say that me trying to play Sekiro is <laughs> is a joke. Oh god, uh, is kind of a joke. You know what? You'll actually get me out of here faster. Take me home. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just not quick enough <laughs> to play those games. <laughs> not very well. Uh, so I do prefer the methodical thing. Does Manus count? I wouldn't say so. He's not a Lord Soul. All right. So what are we looking at for this sword that we picked up? Oh well, yeah, I kind of figured. What am I missing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to take a little bit of work here. We're going to need... What would that be? Is it... Six? It's 24. It's 16, 24. So we need 16 strength. That's not so bad. And 5 dexterity. Before we can wield this bad boy. Sounds good. Let's get cracking. Uh, have I ever played Blasphemous? I have. I made a review on it. I did not enjoy it. Um... The community seems to think that I am wrong in that regard, or at least the Blasphemous community didn't take kindly to my review, but uh, such as it is. Yeah, it was just, uh, it was Dark Souls-esque, but too obtuse, which is, I know, hard to <laughs> wrap your head around, considering, like, but you're a Dark Souls player, you like obtuse lore. It's like, yes and no. I like when a game makes sense, and then you can dive into it deeper, like, Dark Souls, like, let me, let me put it this way. If you played Dark Souls, right, and you just kind of did, like, a surface level, you did a surface level playthrough. You're just, like, you're playing through, you, you run into Frampt, he says, hey, I need you to go, did you ring the bells? You say, yeah, I did. He's like, cool, I need you to go kill some other guys. You go, okay, cool, and then you do that. Like, it's all straightforward enough, right? Uh, like, on a surface level, it's fine. But... If you dive deeper, if you feel, if you're feeling up to it, I'm just gonna try and, this is not gonna work, okay. Uh, if you're feeling up to it though, you can go even deeper, you can dive into like hours and hours of lore videos, all that good stuff. Um, so there's a whole world to explore, but if you're not into that, a surface level playthrough of Dark Souls is still fun. And like, still fun, still challenging, you know, still a good time. Blasphemous requires that you dig into the lore to understand what the hell is going on. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, and on top of that, I feel like the lore is just not that great. Like, it, I, it's, it didn't ring with me, let's put it that way. Which is fine, you know, like... I know a lot of people are like, you just don't understand Catholicism. Like, no, I, I understand it. I, I'm i Roman Catholic, I get it. Like, I understand where you're coming from, I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> you know? Like, and if you don't enjoy it, you're gonna have a bad time. Um, because it requires that you understand like the specific sect of Catholicism where it's like Spanish I think is the one that's so heavily focused on all the punishment and everything so it, it was it was a whole thing it was a whole thing and I just I just wasn't you know and and then it, there's a couple other minor things that I didn't like about it they were more mechanical like for example um, if you bump into an enemy you take damage on a side scroller that's a sin you know like the, unless you can roll through them and not take damage, like they, you should only take damage on a weapon animations, not on any time at all. And then on top of that, like all the rings and things were like they were good, and I understand they did things, but you don't. Ow, you don't put what a ring does in a place where you can't see it without scrolling through text. Like I know Dark Souls puts you know ring ability. Oh come on now. Uh, puts ring abilities and stuff at the bottom, but it always makes sure that you can see that without having to scroll through the item description, whereas Blasphemous does not. Which is, it's just a pain. So, there was just a lot of decisions that I disagreed with and in the end just had a bad time with. So, I heard someone say that you like Blasphemous more than Salt and Sanctuary. That's fine. Dude, we all like our own games, man. It's all good. It's just video games. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> it's not serious. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't get. It's like, you know, I have an opinion about a game, but 
I'm just a dude. <laughs> I'm just a dude with a channel, <laughs> you know, like there's a million other people out there doing the exact same thing. It's okay if you, if you disagree with me. It's all good. We're just playing video games. We're just having fun. You know, I can tell you that I disagreed. I, di I disliked a game because I felt like it wasted my time, but that's my subjective opinion. You know, it's not... Is this is sub is subjective the right one? Objective? I don't know. It's it's my personal opinion. You know, like, it doesn't affect anybody. It's okay. How do I feel about Salt and Sacrifice being an Epic Games exclusive? I understand. I understand. I am excited for when it goes to uh, Steam. I will like to... I will gladly platinum... Oh my god. I will gladly platinum it there as well. Uh, but I understand why they did it. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we need... That much strength. Alright, and one more boss ought to do it so we can get some... Uh, get our sword going. Who's next? Let's go Butterfly. Butterfly's easy. Salt and Sacrifice got really boring and repetitive after a while. I can understand that. I personally enjoyed it. I really like the Monster Hunter series. So to have... Uh, Salt and Sanctuary, Dark Souls, and Monster Hunter all rolled into one was kind of like my perfect game. Um, but I can understand why other people wouldn't enjoy it. IRL sippy break. Hold on. That's better. <clears throat> the cargoes have scarred you ever since the Belfry ones. I can understand that, yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. Subjective is opinion and objective is fact. Okay, so I had it right. So yeah, that's just my subjective. My subjective opinion. Have I played Stranger of Paradise? I have not. Never even heard of it. Why did they make it Epic Game Exclusive? Um, because Steam offers a worse deal. Um, basically, and this is gonna be this is gonna be a pop a lemon talk if you want to actually have this talk. But there is a whole lot of um, there's a whole lot of business stuff going on behind the scenes and I know a lot of people are like oh yeah I know like uh you know it's like well yes and no you you know but you don't know you know the surface but there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that's even deeper for developers you know the player side of things which is all you really need to know because you're a player but as far as the devs are concerned there's a whole other ball of wax going on with both um with both platforms that really kind of affects their way of deciding things so Again, that if you want to talk about it, uh, I will gladly go into it. Um, we can have a Father Lemon talks about real world issues uh, kind of stream if you want, because we're just kind of relaxing. But um, if not, we can just kind of leave it at that. Steam takes a bigger chunk. Again, yeah, that's surface level. That's that's player surface level. Never knew you played Terraria? Uh, yeah, I did. That's actually the first game I ever owned on Steam. I uh, don't know what challenge runs there could be, but have you considered any? Uh, I have considered a bomb-only run. But, uh... <laughs> I haven't played Terraria since the mechanical bosses were the last bosses. So I'm behind by about two updates. So I don't know. I'd have to do a lot of research. And it will be a very grindy game because, you know... <laughs> in order to get some good weapons and stuff, you need to grind. It's just the way it goes. Hello, boys. This is uh, going to be bad for me, isn't it? All right, we're just going to... You know what? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Do it. You like a pop of lemon opinion? Give us the talk? All right, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We'll get into it. It's hilariously practical. I know, right? Does Epic help with development? They do. Yeah, there's, it's, I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain. Or maybe not development, but they do help, they do help, let me put it that way. So, we'll talk about it in a minute. Do you have any plans for Sunbreak? Uh, that's the Monster Hunter. Um, at the current time, no. Uh, just because I am actually behind, uh, with Monster Hunter. The last Monster Hunter game that I have beaten, as it, like, beat every boss for, was Monster Hunter Try. Actually, that's not even true, I never killed the final boss. Oh, no, I'm a disgrace. Um, also, the music stopped again. My God, YouTube, I hate you. I love you. Don't leave me. <laughs> but I hate you. Um, we're just going to have to throw on some music some other way, I guess. There we go. Um, what were we saying? 
I forget now. Oh well. Ow, ow. Yep, this could be bad for me. There we go. Take your lumps. Okay, sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two more of these ought to do it. Oh, who's gonna be? Oh, it's you. Whew, okay. <laughs> Sir, this isn't right. <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, it's a thing. Have I ever played Cuphead? No. No, I haven't gotten around to it. No. Committing boss genocide by lightning. I'm just taking it easy. We're having an easy time. Taking it nice and easy. There's the homeward bone I was looking for. Get me out of here. Alright, there we go. Oh, boy. Anywho. Mecha Bandit 9. Just want to say, keep up the amazing work and looking forward to seeing some more content in the future. Oh, and know that you may have inspired me to do something stupid with mechs in the future. I am so sorry. <laughs> Whatever you decide to do with those mechs, I hope you have a good time. Remember, it's just games. Don't stress too hard over it. You got this. I, pr I trust you. Would I ever do an Elden Ring bomb only run? Uh, you will want to look at our latest live stream to see the answer to that one. So, if ever played Titan Souls? Is that the indie game where everything's a one-hit kill? If so, yes. So, my favorite Souls like that isn't Salt. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably a mixture between. Grime or Vigil, The Longest Night, one of those two. But uh, anyway, what controller type do I use? Uh, I use a generic Logitech controller <laughs> uh, whenever I'm feeling lazy. And when I'm not feeling lazy, I use a Xbox One controller that my best friend customized for me in the style of the backlogs. Like it's got all the colors and everything. It's really cool. All right. So first things first, we need to fix the music. I don't know why... Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, I don't know why YouTube keeps not doing this for me. I'm kind of disappointed. Where, let me just pull up my little stream list here. Scroll down a little bit, we'll find some decent looking music here. The problem is I can't just tell it to go straight through because chances are it's very uh, thematic per video. Let's see. Uh, let's just take, um... Come on. Keep going. Pickup truck. Hey, what's going on, man? Good morning. Just woke up taking all bets on how many times he'll die across the ca to the Capra's dog. Oh, God. Yeah, good question. Good question. Don't know myself. Hopefully not too many. All right, let's start here. This is a good spot. As soon as YouTube stops glitching on me. <laughs> Which it just did, okay? Good job, YouTube. You're doing great. Doing great, buddy. Keep it up. Oh, man. Page unresponsive. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Okay. There we go. Let's get some nice music going, huh? Okay. Okay. That's better. Do I have any souls I can pop here? I do. It's not going to be very big, though. How many more decks do I need? Two more levels? Oh, that's quite a bit. All right. All right, before we go on, ever sit down and think Plin Plin Plon? Uh, I have played Plin Plin Plon. It's a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so, how much have you gotten into the Dark Souls lore? I know it backwards and forwards at this point. Yeah. After my first playthrough, which was uh, surface level, I went back and watched all the lore videos that Vadi Vidya had come out with at the time, uh, since he was the only one making them at the moment. And uh, yeah, we've uh, uh, after that, I just took a very deep dive through that and like Terra Mantis and everything else. And man, oh man, it's good stuff. Okay, so everyone asked that I just give a Papa Lemon talk here about the difference between Steam. An epic game store and why developers not just salt and sacrifice but why developers would go one way or the other so 
most of you are well aware of the surface level arguments. The surface level arguments being that Epic Game Store gives a bigger, a bigger cut than Steam will. And this, of course, is true. That is fine. And as far as most players are concerned, that's all you really need to know. But from a developer point of view, what actually happens is a lot bigger than that, especially when you're an indie developer. So, for example, you're an indie developer. You are making, let's say you're making your first game, right? Okay, you know that Steam has a wider population than Epic Game Store. So that makes the most sense because that's where you want to go to get the most eyes on your game. However, you also know that Steam has an extensive library of... God, we must be at close to approaching the million mark, if not, if we haven't already gotten there. Number of player or not players, of games on the library. Um, Redgrave, thank you so much for joining. Much appreciated. Um, but uh, yeah, so you know, not only are you getting the most eyes, but you're also competing with the most people, right? So that's, that's something to consider. This is all business, by the way. We get, think of this all from a business point of view. So, um, so you've got that. That's a problem. The second thing is that Steam requires you to pay to be put on their platform. Because they know they can. They have a virtual monopoly. It's not actually a monopoly, but it's a virtual monopoly as far as PC gaming is concerned. So they say, hey, you want your, you know, you want your little game on Steam? That's great you know fork up the cash so you have to so now not only do you have to pay a deposit essentially to get your game onto the platform but now steam also says oh by the way we're taking this much percent i forget the actual number and i don't want to state it to be wrong uh, i don't want to give anyone the wrong idea but we also are taking a large percentage of your profits each and every time you sell a game so now you've put down money and the money that you would normally be making to get back that deposit is also halved or just a portion of what you would normally get. So there's that. Okay, now there you go. So that's that's Steam's way of doing things. Then, on top of all of that, Steam also says, okay, here's your thing, here's your page, good luck. And then just kind of lets you go. And you just do your thing. And if you have any problems, you'll have to talk to Steam. And because they have millions and millions of things going on, how quickly they get back to you and how well their response is and if it's not automated or not it's kind of up for grabs now let's go to the other side of the table you go to epic game store it's a smaller platform it's got some big games on it you know it's not unheard of it's not its own little thing it's not you know it's not unknown it's just smaller in comparison um uh oh <laughs> whoops um so there's that also, Kevin Clark, thank you so much. Happy you caught a stream. Any challenge run today? We're just playing. We're just playing. We're just chit-chatting. It's all good. But thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. Um, there we go. The music's going nicely this time. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Now, Epic Game Store, smaller platform, less eyes. However, I don't believe they tell you to pay any money. I think you come to them and you say, Hey, I have a game. I'd like to put it on your platform. What they'll do, instead of charging you a deposit, anything else, they'll say, cool. Uh, in that case, what we would like to do, and I'm sure it doesn't happen for every game, but they make it, they make the offer, I'm sure. I'm sure it's part of negotiations. Is they usually say, hey, we would like to make you exclusive to Epic for a set amount of time. And in return for that, one, you don't pay the deposit. Two, we will give you a team that'll help you uh, navigate the site, make your page, and is basically your personal team in case anything goes wrong. So that way they can, they're they always there to help you out. So like, say for example, your Steam page is accidentally selling your game for free, which sometimes happens. Um, if that happens, you gotta run to Steam and be like, hey, uh, thousands of players are downloading my game, uh, it's supposed to be a dollar, and everyone's getting it for free, that's a thousand dollars I just missed out on, please help. And then three days later they get back to you and now it's been 30,000 downloads and you know <laughs> you see where the problem comes in. like you just missed out on $30,000 <laughs> you know uh, or whatever push you would get after Steam takes their cut uh, however what Epic does is they give you that individual team so that you say hey something's going on they go okay we're on it and they're right there to help you out um, on top of that of course uh, like I said they take a smaller cut um, 
and they're just kind of they're there for the developer it seems like where am i going i need to go somewhere else um so again it's not you can see where the business decision kind of comes in it's less eyes but more money and a more intimate relationship with the person that you're the platform you're on and then after the fact once you kind of get that all done now you've also got the opportunity to once the exclusivity deal is done is to go to steam and do it that way too and now you now you're just making money hand over fist on both sides right so epic takes 12 percent, yeah versus 30 percent or so somewhere around there um yeah so it's it's a whole thing it's a lot of business it's a lot of decisions that need to be made um honestly i think it was kind of a good thing that salt and sink uh salt and sacrifice came out on epic game store um if we want to talk specifically about that game just because when it came out uh there was a lot of uh quality of life improvements that were made over its lifespan um and i think that had it released on steam it would have been a, a, a bloodbath <laughs> you know you would have they would have gotten a lot of more bites but then they would have been like just shot down down the pipe as far as it would go and steam reviews tend to not bounce back very quickly so uh i have a feeling it would have been kind of murdered in its crib um but now that they've gotten through all the quality of life stuff on the epic game store and they're kind of playing around with everything and making sure everything works properly i feel like when they do finally get to a steam release it's going to be a lot smoother and everything will be a-okay or at least a lot better than it is now or you know what i mean so anywho so that's the Papa Lemon business talk. Um, just important to remember that game devs need to eat too, especially indie developers. And when it comes to putting their game on a certain platform, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we as players don't get to see. So just worth noting. Hollowed Miner, thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emotes in the backgrounds. Dark Skulls Plays, thank you so much for just the donation. Much appreciated for your generosity there. And here if you need, also, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anywho. That was a really nice business talk. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's... It's weird. Well, the lag. Uh, it's, it's a little weird, but... <laughs> I hate to say it. The world is run entirely on business, business ethics, and all that good stuff. Let's just, uh, let's get some free souls here, huh? I don't even know where I'm going at this point. I'm just kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of running in circles. <laughs> See if we can't get something free here. Oh man, still good, huh? Where we get 200? Oh, that's not nearly as much as I thought I would be getting from these guys. There we go. Uh, yeah, the the whole world, money makes the world go round, unfortunately. But uh, it's a lot more involved than most people realize. And uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I get a lot of insight and in all that, which is unfortunate, but also a good thing, I guess. Lavin, thank you so much for joining. Enjoy the emotes and backgrounds. What was the business stuff about? Uh, people wanted to know why Salt and Sacrifice would go to Epic Game Store as opposed to Steam. So, and I, I told them like the surface level argument, but then I also mentioned that there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and people wanted to know the behind the scenes stuff. People wanted a pop a lemon talk. So, you know, whenever anyone wants to know just some real world intricacies. Uh, more than happy to give you guys a little talk. <laughs> Whatever works. Not many members are spamming the emo. Can you curse them a little bit? Yeah, no. You don't have to. <laughs> if people want to spam the emo, they're more than welcome to. It's a free chat. You do what you like. <laughs> no. Which lore, ga which lore Souls game do you most enjoy from a lore perspective? Uh, Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 has the best lore. You eat them like apples if you're feeling ambitious? Ugh, man, dude. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> no. Have I ever played Hyper Light Drifter? Yes. If so, what are your thoughts on it? It was a good game. I enjoyed it. Um, it was not so long that it stayed it overstayed its welcome. Uh, its mechanics were pretty solid. And I really enjoyed the, uh, what would I call it? The perceived story. So, there you go. Borderlands 3 is still an Epic exclusive? Is it? I don't know. 
I don't know. I played it on PS3 at one point, and, or maybe it was PS4, and it was uh, kind of garbo, so I did not play it again. <laughs> and and I, it was also really bad with a friend, which is telling, because usually a game, when, it, when you're playing with a friend, is at least fun. Uh, we were having a real bad time the entire time, <laughs> so so just not not a uh, not good, I guess. That's my opinion on Dark Souls 2. I enjoy it. Um, I appreciate what they did, which is they tried a bunch of new things. They didn't just make Dark Souls 1.5. Um, I know a lot of people disliked it because of that, uh, but I think that's kind of also the same thing. And I've made this comparison before. I think it's the same thing that people had a trouble with with Salt and Sacrifice, which is that it was very much a Dark Souls 2, um, in that they tried a bunch of new stuff, um, basically did not just remake Salt and Sacrifice, which is what a lot of people, or no, Salt and Sanctuary, I mean, um, which I think a lot of people think they wanted. They just wanted, you know, more Salt and Sanctuary. But, uh, you know, as a dev and as a game developer, you want to try new things. You don't want to just make the same thing three times in a row. That's how you get FIFA and all the other sports games where you just copy and paste everything. And you can see how long that you see how well that goes. So, um, no, I, I respect them for what they did. I respect the mechanical changes they made. And at this point, I think the game is in a good spot with all of its quality of life improvements. So uh, I'm happy with it. So I think the uh, same thing goes for Dark Souls 2. The DLC for Borderlands 3 was a lot better than the base game. Oh, okay. There you go. Bioshock 1 or 2? Um, you know, I remember Bioshock 1 a lot better than Bioshock 2. I remember enjoying Bioshock 2, but I remember the story of 1 a lot more. So I think I'll, just, I'll lean towards Bioshock 1 for now. Until I get around to Bioshock 2 again. Howard Miner, gifted five Backlogs memberships. My guy, thank you so much. Well, Chaz, David, Sven, nope, that's not right, Seven, <laughs> Gavin, and Fire. Enjoy those new memberships, all for free. In case you guys weren't aware, you guys now have access to a bunch of Lemon emotes. And if you go to the Community tab and the channel, uh, you'll actually get a couple wallpapers for free as well. So uh, enjoy those. Thank you so much for your generosity, my man. Infinite is the best one? Eh, I don't know. The Infinite has the same issue, or had the same issue that Elden Ring did, which is that when it came out, it felt very important. Um, Elden Ring had felt really important because so many open world games and so many... Elden World... El Here, let me, let, me, let me say this as uh, succinctly and oh my god what happened uh as uh accurately as i can because i don't want to give anyone the wrong impression elder ring came out at the right time that is not a health pot that is a soul lemon <laughs> uh elder ring came out at exactly the right time everyone was getting kind of tired of open world games and the way they were operating which is just find the tower it's, you know receive receive the map go do the things it's all the same you know um so it came out when that was a big problem and on top of that it also came out when every game is trying to be a live service which is just a terrible decision in my opinion but you know it is what it is um and so between those two points when Elden Ring came out and said nope we are a single player game oh, come on <laughs> Mildred no <laughs> it's the exact opposite of what I needed right now oh shoot this could be bad we're gonna die here I really needed these souls, too. <laughs> You're about to get our new weapon. Oh, you... You... You ass. Uh, uh, but yeah, so it came out basically in a perfect storm, and, and because of that, everyone was like, this is important. This is the greatest thing that ever could have happened. Huzzah! And they're not wrong, you know? Like, it was a good... It was good proof that video games don't need to be such a simple formula. Chug, chug. Okay, well, this is not gonna... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Um, I feel like Bioshock 3 was the exact same thing. When it came out, it felt important. It felt like it was the, It came out in the perfect storm. Um, it was just really important that a game like that came out at that time. But, 
and we're kind of seeing this with Elden Ring now too, the longer time goes, now that we're coming out of that perfect moment, people are like, oh, wait, no, no, wait, never mind, you know, like, they're, they're, they're seeing the cracks. The cracks are starting to show. And Bioshock 3 has that problem with its, uh, its story, I feel like. So, and the gameplay is a little, a little wonky. Um, but, yeah, so, anyway. Not gonna say it's a bad game. Just, I don't think it's as good as a lot of people think it is, or as they remember it being. Let's put it that way. Alright, where are we going? I don't know, I'm just kind of wandering off. <laughs> we're just, we're, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're just having fun. We'll go back and get our souls. There's a Bioshock 3? Yep. Bioshock Infinite. Mm -hmm. When I play Bioshock 2, will I stream it? I don't know. Um... If it's as easy as Bioshock 1 was, then probably not. Just because I'll probably be able to sit down and just do it. And then be done with it. Um, if it is difficult and I start getting stuck on places, then yeah, I'll stream a bit. Just to kind of give myself a, um, a little bit of a break. I think the majority still think both are great games. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Will I do a Dark Souls 1 Max Equip Load Run? No. Because that would take forever. <laughs> and as patient as I am, that's kind of like the equi that's the equipment equivalent of doing a, um, a hilt only run, right? Without... A hilt only one a hilt only run without using magic to like kind of buff it because with magic the uh, hilt actually does a significant amount of damage like it's actually viable but if you uh, if you don't use any kind of weapon buffs or things like that then yeah it's just it's just pain <laughs> but the poise yeah okay <laughs> what's my opinion on Eldering not having covenants in the sense that Dark Souls did uh, honestly I didn't even know that um, okay I, I don't know. I don't think it really, it's really not that necessary, to be honest. The Covenants are cool, um, but I do think... And we see, we've see we seen this problem a lot with like any game that has too many Covenants. Um, they start to get in the way of multiplayer. In that... Uh, yeah, it just starts to get in the way. Like, all these extra rules about how to invade and what kind of uh, criteria need to be met in order to invade or to co-op and all that stuff. I think it just starts getting in the way um, if the if the player base starts to drop, let's say. So, like, you know, when it's brand new, it's great. But when you're, like, five years into a game's life cycle and there's about 10,000 people playing consistently and not all of them are playing online, um, it makes it difficult for the players that want to play online. So, yeah, I guess it's fine. I don't, know, I don't know if I'll miss it or not. We'll see. It's really a moral alignment in Elden Ring. Okay, yeah, see, that's fine. That's fine. Elden Ring's PvP scene was dead on arrival. You know, I absolutely had zero fun with any PvP from Elden Ring. Um, it felt very... I'm gonna go this way. Uh, it felt very... rough from the start, really. Um, you know, I... <laughs> the first time I got invaded, because I couldn't play on I think I played a little bit on the day of but I didn't have a whole lot of time so I didn't really get into it um, the first time I actually was like yeah okay I'll try some PvP um, I was just immediately annihilated by someone that had played for too long and already had endgame gear and it was just dumb <laughs> you know like two hits I'm dead okay cool and then that's all it's ever been ever since so uh, definitely not for me not, not for me. What you doing there, buddy? I just don't want you to kill my firekeeper, that's all. You know, you don't have an actual shield. Let's... Let's just kind of... Yeah, huh? <laughs> I was hoping I'd do a little bit more damage than that, but okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, boy. Game is struggling. This computer, man. I need to... Oh, I need to clean this computer. Clearly, we're having trouble. Souls PvP is pretty bad in general. It's never improved. You know, I would not disagree with you. <laughs> the only PvP I've ever had fun with in a Souls, an actual Souls title, was uh, Dark Souls 2. I had fun with that one. Ooh, that was the parry. Oh, damn it. 
Why not just, just kick him off? Probably should have. <laughs> Clearly should have. Soul's PvP system is outdated. Yeah, probably. Probably. His lag definition of a lag fest. Oh, don't even get started on the lag. Absolutely. Lag stabbing. The fact that it's actually a technique is a problem. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 at the best PvP? Yeah. Yeah. That is, they try to balance PvP gets more unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the problem with any PvP game, is that your PvP portion of your game is going to affect the PvE portion of the game. Which really sucks for those of us that just want to play single player. Not kicking him off is not is not Dark Souls being played normally. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh well. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed. What is this song? Uh, the one that was just recently playing was um, from Jackbox. That was from Jackbox. You have to invest in PvP if you want a PvP. And well, here's the and here's the problem is you can't turn off PvP. I mean, I guess allegedly now you can with the the co-op mod, but before like I just wanted to play Elden Ring with my wife, right? Like <laughs> that was the goal. We both liked Skyrim and we both liked Dark Souls. Like, and we're not having fun playing it solo, but maybe we'll have a lot of fun playing it with a friend, so or <laughs> a partner. And so with that being the case, you, we figured like, oh, okay, so we'll just try that. Immediately invaded immediately invaded every single time okay you my friend are starting to annoy me a little bit there you go um yeah just every single time we wanted to play together we got invaded by some someone that had endgame gear and then anytime we weren't getting invaded we were getting connection errors so it was just a mess just a bad time all around so we we stopped playing <laughs> can you please stop dodging uh. All right, let's see if we can maybe we can convince him to throw himself off a cliff or something. Why don't you just go throw yourself off a cliff somewhere? And you are going to be a problem, I can tell already, so let me just, ow. Give you a little something, something to think about. Same goes for you. And you too, apparently. All right, Kirk. You're not Kirk. <laughs> Wait, you you think it's firebomb damage? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I did not know this. Let's just go up here for a minute. Don't. <laughs> Would you quit? <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. You know, man. All right, you. You should just roll sideways. That's not sideways. No. All right, well. That's fine. Whatever. Ugh, the fact that that could get around my shield is really annoying. Do your lip roll. Come on. It's the only time I can catch you. Just gotta wait for his AI to kick in. Oh, and he's gone into some sort of ring mode. I don't know if that's Red Tear Stone or if that's... What? Drink up just in case. Who'd have thought that Kirk would be the final boss? <laughs> Ow. Oops, forgot to forgot to take advantage of that. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Whenever you're ready, my guy. Oh, he has a ninja flip ring? <laughs> what? What was that? Oh no though, that's the that's the backflip from the from his weapon. Okay. Man, you know the NPCs are actually like really decked out and like have some really cool stuff, but you would never know unless you fought them with a weak weapon. 
It's actually pretty cool. Anyway, now that we're now we're done with that. Oh gosh. Even when it's a challenger and I can't play Dark Souls normally. I know. I know I'm broken. Xbox, PlayStation, or PC? Personally, I like PC because I already pay for the internet and I don't like to pay for it twice. Also, PC tends to get all of the games, like, eventually. So this is just kind of the easiest way to, without buying a new console every four years. Just parry them. You know, my parries are really off today. So, not really sure what's going on with that. <laughs> my blood loss is a little, a little too high. I can't really parry today for some reason. No. What do you hope From's next project is going to be? Didn't they already announce it? Isn't it more of their mech? Their mech games? I have this. There we go. I thought, yeah, I thought they announced that already. I could be wrong. Alright. Do you like Dark Souls 3 Combat? Yes. You feel like it's made for... You feel like it's made of paper. I don't quite understand what you mean. I enjoyed it. It's like Bloodborne's combat, where it's like it's quicker. Personally, I like the weediness. I guess that's what you mean. Um, I like the weediness of Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2's combat. Um, though I will say that the fast speed is nice for, you know, you just have to change your build mentality. Like, for Dark Souls 3 and for Bloodborne, I just made sure that I had a dual dagger build, or the Beast Claws, I guess, for Bloodborne. Uh, just because it's a faster playstyle. Um, which you kind of have to lean into, you know? Armored Core. That's what it was. Yep, that's the one. Um, yeah, now, don't don't quote me on that, but I swear I saw a bunch of people saying that that was the, uh, the newly announced FromSoft game. That's where they're going next. Which should be pretty cool. Do, do, do. The mech is another team, not Miyazaki. Oh, well, you, you did say FromSoft, so... Speaking of FromSoft, I think the game I'm, or the, the soundtrack we're listening to right now is actually from FromSoft as well. Little Nightmares. Pretty sure. Great game, by the way. Alright. Let's actually sit down today. Fred the Squid, thank you so much. <laughs> Cute little emo. <laughs> That's really cool. But yes, thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Let me get a real sippy break in here. Give me a minute. Is it a side scroller? No. Or, I guess you'd call it like a... It's like a 3D side scroller. There's depth. It's not, you know, back up front. Alright, that's better. Oh, goodness. Is this Little Nightmares soundtrack? Sure is. So good. Is BNE entertained? Hmm. Hmm. Don't, don't quite know what you mean. Anyway, uh, however, I think this is also the one hour version of this song, so let's go ahead and do the next one. Not that one. Give me something a little bit more. Yeah, we can work with that. I could work with that sound. That's good. Okay, super massive games? Okay. Oh, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. You want a new expansion DLC for Dark Souls 2? Uh, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Hmm. Alright. If we can just murder Quelag, we can get our new weapon. Hooray. What do I think of a no consumable run, such as no Estus, no item souls, anything that would put you I got gotcha, anything you down arrow? Um I could see that being interesting, but it would just turn into basically just like a hey I go I went and got the biggest weapon I could think of <laughs> and smashed things you know like that's it wouldn't be really so much of a challenge right it'd probably be like most people do but without healing it'd just be Dark Souls without healing like running this video in the background cool I I am always happy to hear when I am second second monitor material I take no offense do I have any no we're going in we're going in poison. Let's do it. Stefan. Thank you so much. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> How do I feel about heavy metal? Uh, like actual heavy metal? Eh, I could take it or leave it. Alright. 
Let's go. So, give you a little bit of this. What are we looking at here? That's pretty good. We can do enough damage with this. We'll be fine. What animation do you want to give me today? Doing some swords? Nope. Okay. Good. Now heal up. Okay. There we go. Good try. Good try. Nice and easy. Taking our time. Yes, the current song is from Celeste. You are correct. A game I've heard great things about and I've not gotten around to playing. That's one of the main reasons I'm excited about the, uh, the second channel that I'll eventually hopefully put out. Uh, just because uh, I'll get to play a lot more games from the backlog. Like Celeste. I hear so, uh, there's so many cool games that are out and stuff, and I just haven't gotten around to playing any of them. Really. <laughs> and, I, and I have that common YouTuber problem where I feel, whenever I'm playing a video game, the first thought that comes to mind is, you know, I should be making content. <laughs> you know? Oh, not dead yet. Oh, oh, we're still good. Oh, still good. Stab. All right. <laughs> Woo. I thought she ended us there. Uh, yeah, I have that constant problem of, like, I'm playing a video game. Why aren't I making content? Why aren't I recording? Which is a bad mindset to have, because that means that every time I try to enjoy myself and relax, it means I'm, do uh, I'm thinking about work. So, uh, but we're, we're breaking that. We're breaking that habit. Like, I didn't do that with Doom. I just played the game. Um, then after having beaten the entire game, I was like, oh, that was fun. And I liked this part, this part, and this part. I'll just record that real quick. And then I did. And then it was done. It was nice. It was nice. Have I played Darkest Dungeon? I have a single short on the channel of me playing Darkest Dungeon. Uh, <laughs> I have played it. I have beaten it. It is a great game if you like Lovecraftian horror. It is a little frustrating. But it is a great game would recommend, but would also recommend caution going in. Right, let's not sit down here. Let's... Cause we still got Capra and all that to deal with, so let's go that way. In fact, just because I don't want to risk it. Oh, I did want to use that. Try again. There we go. Ratchet and Clink? Oh, man. Back when it came out. Yeah. Yeah, me and a buddy played that multiplayer constantly. I think that was the third one that had the multiplayer, but yeah, I did play it. It's a good time. Alright, let's see. Is that enough for my Grave Lord? Mm, yes, we just don't have the strength to wheel it one handed. Which is fine. How are we looking at this thing? It's a curved greatsword? Oh, I didn't know that. What's the R2 look like? Oh, okay. Let's see the description here. Uh huh, uh huh. Masmid of death exudes the sword, a veritable toxin to any living being. So it does toxic. Cool, cool. And what was the damage? 265. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. Exciting stuff. Well, putting points into the strength or dex would be silly, since it was E. So, back to faith we go. Excellent. You're naked. You call this normal? I have pants on. <laughs> I just, I like my fast roll, okay? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I have never used this weapon before. I like this. This is a good choice. Good good choice, chat. Let's see those dogs handle us now. What's the block on this thing? 60? Yeah, we can work with it. We'll be fine. Roger Clank was among some of your first games. <laughs> You're young, aren't you? <laughs> you just gave away your age no uh, they were great games completely agree uh, did you ever play Dragon's Dogma I did I didn't finish it uh, but I did get a significant way through I was enjoying myself I just got distracted by life you know, one of those I have several of those games where I, I played them and I was having a good time and then something came up and I just never got back to it Gray Man. just want to say you're going from Salt and Sanctuary to Salt and Sacrifice was like getting lore was like getting the Lord Vessel. Okay. And wanted to ask what your favorite boss from those games would be. Oh, okay, sure. Um, let's see. 
Is that game? Lord Vessel. Oh, I see what you're saying. I get it now. Uh, so what is my favorite bosses? So from Salt and Sanctuary, uh, Queen of Smiles or the Dried King are my favorite bosses. Um, but for Salt and Sacrifice, my favorite boss... Oh, that's tricky. I really like the the Luminomancer, Luminoman the Light the light Mage, um, but I really like the Chronomancer too, just because it's such a cool concept. It's like, oh, that's so fucking cool, <laughs> you know? So I really like those two. Um, Bibliomancer's probably up there as well. Very cool bosses. King Hearts music? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yet another game that I picked up, played a good portion of, and then never got to finishing. Salt and Sacrifice, I'd say the two who remain. I like them. I just like the mages more. Really well designed double fight. I'll agree with that. Way better than Ornstein and Spell. <laughs> For sure. I understand the, the inspiration, but it's it does play a lot better. So I'm, I'm happy about that. When I initially saw him, I was panicked. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Not this again. But no, it worked out. After the XCOM videos, you want to see Divinity Original Sin 2 challenge runs? I've heard there are firebombs in those, so uh, you'll get them. Don't you worry. Neuromancer was absolute pain? Nah, he's alright. He was just a puzzle in himself. He's real cool. Recently bought some old games for the GameCube that you never got a chance to play. Both of them are Zelda games. Would one of them happen to be Link for Swords and Wind Waker? Is that, that's my guess. Both are great. After thinking, you realize ter Terraria bombs only is impossible. I disagree. You're forgetting about grenades and sticky bombs and beanades and... <laughs> There's options. What from game has the most interesting areas in my opinion? Mm. This is a good question. I like Dark Souls 1 just because most of the areas have lore implications. Which is important to me. Um... The other ones seem like they just kind of exist, and they just kind of threw them together. You know, you're like, oh, okay. Um, I do like Dark Souls 2's Frozen Ilium voice, just because that does have lore implications, and it's very cool. Um, no pun intended. But at the same time, I think Dark Souls 1 just does a better job. So. Do, do, do. What design issues do you think that Onstein and Smo has? Uh, they don't time very well. Um, so for example, like, they could kind of, like, spam you into oblivion, you know, you'll get hit by Smo, and then as soon as you're, like, standing up and still in the stand-up animation, uh, Ornstein will just come out of nowhere through Smo, no less, uh, and stab you right in the face and kill you. Which is not great. You know, it's, it's frustrating, and it, it's frustrating design. And I understand they were kind of working with the limitations, but I wish they had probably programmed a little bit more, like, hey... If Smo is attacking, Ornstein is X, Y, or Z, not also winding up an attack, <laughs> you know? So, it just could have been done a little bit better. But, but in co-op, though, but I think, I know what a lot of people say is that, like, hey, like, it, you're supposed to co-op it. Like, it's the game encouraging you to participate in co-op. That's fine. But now we're at a point where, like, for example... I can't co-op unless it's with Solaire because the servers are down, you know, and not that they could have really planned for that, but yeah, it's just a frustrating moment, that's all. Or you got people that just don't have internet, you know, so like, that's all. Sit down. Battle axe. I'm not supposed to do that. You always summon for ONS, it's more fun. Exactly. And it's more fun because it works better. Because they, uh... They all, they, they divert focus onto each player, so then it becomes 2v2, and now you're just in, like, a cage fight. It's a good time, you know? Like, it's it's the way it's intended. But when they're both getting up on one person, it's, it's a bad time. The little yellow arrow? That is from my ring. Um, that is the... They call it the FAP ring. It's the favor and protection ring. Uh, boosts your stamina and health. Least favorite Dark Souls 2 boss, yours is probably the Throne Watcher and Defender. Yeah, they're pretty lame. Um, I would go with uh, Knock Off Very Sickly Sif. Um, just because there's nothing really interesting about that fight. Um, it's just kind of boring, and it's, un it's a bit unfair. So. 
that one for me, I'd say. There are there are quite a few bosses in Dark Souls 2 that are a bummer, but that one for sure. People don't have PS Plus or Xbox Live too. Exactly. Yeah. So again, you've still got Solaire if you didn't murder him and if you got him that far. <laughs> You know, it'd be one thing if it was like, hey, you can co-op this boss no matter what. Like, here's an option. Um, but as with all things Dark Souls, you have to do the seven prerequisites before the game takes it easy on you. So, you know how it goes. Call second channel the backlog checklist. Uh, you know, someone actually said, uh, someone called it the actual backlog. And I was like, oh, wait, that's actually, <laughs> that's pretty good. I think we, I think we might go with that one. We'll see. I'll think it over a little bit longer, but we'll give it a try. No, puppy, no. Where are you? Oh, God. Alright, so let's see. So if I block... Or just stab you. That works, too. Okay. Bafflin. Whoa. <laughs> where, when is the can you beat X, Y, or Z as Tony coming? Uh, you'll have to find me a game where you can play as a skeleton. I don't think they make very many of those. Unless we're talking like Grim Fandango or something. And at that point, <laughs> I'd just be playing Grim Fandango. <laughs> yeah, if someone makes me a skeleton mod in Dark Souls where I can play as the enemy skeleton, I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. You just let me know. <laughs> Backlogs with a hint of lemon. That's, that's just the backlogs, guys. <laughs> down. This is a nice relaxing just a nice relaxing romp through the lower undead bird. <laughs> there we go. To me, original sin, you can be a skeleton. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, that answers that, doesn't it? There you go. I'm just gonna have to play through that game with uh, the skeleton and a scimitar. Hooray! <laughs> 3D games all have animation skeletons so they count. No. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're okay. Okay, dog. Chill. Everybody chill. Oh, God. All right, where are they? Where's the puppers? There's one. There's two. All right, I just want one of you guys. All right, well, one of them, so one's good. Jesus. Hey, quit it. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, well. Chill and kill. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what's the name of the background song? This is a Wii song. I know that for a fact. Um, it is... The Me Editor. And the Wii U. Let's see. We'll skip ahead, though, because that's like a 12 minute song. Not that one, either. That one's kind of boring. Get me a better song. Nope, not that one either. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, we played that one already. YouTube, you're losing your touch. Ugh. <laughs> okay, now we're just going through the same songs. This song, this this playlist has like 300 songs. Come on, <laughs> just pick one. Here, pick one for you. There you go. There you go, YouTube. Do you st still think we should call the fans Lemonades? No. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that for some reason. Mm. Something about that makes me feel weird. Have I played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? No. I have not. I have not played any Metal Gear game, actually. Okay. <laughs> it's weird to see me play a normal playthrough. I know. It's, honestly, I think, even, as Chad said, even when I'm trying to play normal, I'm still challenging myself. Like, why do I have the Gravelord sword? Why, <laughs> why did I fight Lautrec normally instead of just kicking him off a ledge? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Did I, I thought I opened the shortcut. Maybe, I, yeah, I did, I did. We shouldn't take the bonfire, that's all. A manual? Why not lemon juice for the secondary channel? Uh, you know, I'm... <laughs> thank you so much, by the way. Uh, but... The, um... A lot of people... Tend to get confused. They they notice... They, they 
I, the channel's called The Backlogs, right? So if I call the next channel something about lemons, they're gonna get all confused. Especially, like, pe people that are a bit more new. I know I say it every, every video, like, hey, I'm Lemon, this is The Backlogs, but, uh, you have to keep things simple. So, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Oscar, thank you so much for that donation, my guy. Really appreciate it. Alrighty. Yeah, they're fine. Man, game. Come on, buddy. Keep it together, Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, that blood loss is killing me, man. I wonder, actually... I wonder if it wouldn't be advantageous for us to switch over to the sword for a minute. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, okay. What? Who? Who is throwing fire bombs? What is happening here? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Lemon's personal backlogs for the channel name. Hmm. I see what you're saying. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of. I'm still kind of throwing it around. I'm still kind of figuring it out. What's the name behind Lemon? Uh, that is my old gamer tag name. Uh, I used to be Submerged Lemon. Uh, and considering I don't like to give out personal information, uh, I decided to just use that for my name. But I didn't want people calling me Submerged all the time, so I just stuck with Lemon and that's it. Guys. So they do die in one hit, so that's good. Just need to actually... There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, well. <laughs> now everyone's mad. Oh, what? <laughs> they rolled right into a backstab? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Mr. Merged. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Merged? Do you have a phone call on line three? <laughs> no. Well, get out of here. Sit down. Above sea level lime. Yeah, that won't get confusing for anybody. <laughs> I'm sure that'll go over real well. This song's a bop. Yeah, that's uh, Super Meat Boy. Oh, yeah. See, this sword's so good. It's too good. Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let me be like, hello, I am underwater. <laughs> Really noted. Uh. Haha, I fooled you. Oh, well, I guess not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. Not a good time. When you did your first run of Dark Souls on this channel, was it a game in your backlogs or just something you did for fun? Uh, so if you're talking about the fist only run I did, um, I was just kind of playing around with it. I had already played Dark Souls like for over a thousand hours, um, and I'd already been doing challenges for it like on my own per for my own personal enjoyment. Like I've done like soul level one runs and all that kind of stuff, um, but I had never done something for the channel, so I figured I'd give it a try because uh, I wanted to branch out a bit from Sultan's Sanctuary, and uh, people really liked it, so. Liked it quite a bit, in fact, and <laughs> they're some of the better, uh, better performing videos on the channel. Not that I blame them, it's got a wider audience, but, yeah. It's so basically just a, a thing I tried and uh, worked out well. Kind of like XCOM and, uh, what was the other one I've done? That's, Stardew Valley did really well. You know, that kind of stuff. Green ouch. Is there an actual lemon emote? Okay, well, that's that's new. What's my most memorable Dark Souls run? Arr. Gosh, I don't know. Not fists only. It was fun, but it's not... I don't know if it was, like, memorable. I Honestly, I, I really liked the firebomb run, just because that, that kind of started it all. <laughs> that started a lot of... A lot of what we do today 
and it really changed my perspective on like how to how to do certain game mechanics like i didn't used to put any value on consumables either i never used the that stupid dog it always bites me right before i can dodge ow man um i really should use a shield uh yeah like i used to never really put too much weight in consumables but ever since that run i realized like no wait consumables are really good and you should use them all the time so so it's just uh yeah that that one for sure the first run you did was with the great scythe yeah that's good it is a fine weapon are you the team dad of your friend group your voice has dad energy um yeah i think so i think so Yes, they seem to be anyway. <laughs> Even in the D and D groups that I'm in, like it always, it's always like everyone does their own thing, has the chaotic fun that in inevitably comes from D and D, and then it's like slowly, silently, everyone turns to me like, "So what are we actually doing?" <laughs> you know, it's like, "Okay, I guess we should go follow the mission." And did everyone prepare snacks? And <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of a group dad, I suppose. I'm okay with that. Someone's got to do it, right? Otherwise, otherwise, no, nothing gets done. Yeah, come on. There we go. Okay, now here you. There we are. All right. What's your style in D and D? Um, I like to play a character that is flawed, but not broken. So, like uh, a grappler barbarian. Or um, a what do you what do I always call it a utility wizard, um, you know something that it works, it does its job, it does great, but it's not the overall powerhouse that you would kind of see from someone that's like meta gaming or anything like that, you know. Basically, take the strength of a character and then take away one of the main reasons why it's so strong, just to prove that it can still work. I, I just challenge running D and D too. Let's just be real. <laughs> D&D Firebomb only run. Um, well, my one buddy is actually planning on DMing a more Bloodborne-esque kind of style uh, campaign in the near future. All oh, right, we have this. <laughs> I should have been using this. Um, and uh, he's mentioned that the Alchemist is a class. I'm like, oh, I'm in. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll do uh, like an Alchemist Fire-based character. I keep getting slammed over here though. These things are too fast. Why does it keep hitting me? Alright, I'm gonna need you and oh my god, what is happening? The lag. The actual lag. I can't even drink. Jeez, man. I, if you guys saw the stream lag for a minute, that was not the stream. That was the actual game. Good lord. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to clean this computer out. It's clearly hurting really bad. It's not good. My favorite class in D&D, &D, uh, I really like to be Utility Wizard. Um, it basically turns the entire session into a puzzle. Um, basically like, hey, how do I solve the problem that is immediately coming at us with these like 10 different utility spells I have uh, and also the rest of my team's abilities, you know, as opposed to just Fireball. The answer is always Fireball. You know, that's, that's boring. That's not fun, you know. And also, like, I feel like that probably takes away from other players' enjoyment, too. If you're like, if you like, okay, well, we have this puzzle, and there's a door, and we can try to solve... I use Fireball! You know, it's, <laughs> it's funny, but it's not fun at, in the long run, anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely utility wizard. Okay, I am hurting on this. <laughs> this is such a problem. <laughs> Dem frames, I know, right? Ooh, man. This feels worse than your potato PC. I don't... Yeah. No, there's definitely some issues. I think I might just have too much stuff installed on it or something's taking up too much room. It's been a while since I've run, like, a defragment on the computer and everything. I should just kind of... I need to... I need to give it a look. I need to give it a look. Fireball and Wall of Force. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> have you ever considered a randomizer run? I've considered it. Um, it'd be fun for a stream. It would not be a good video. Uh, very hard to make any kind of uh, storyline when you're just uh, 
Like, well, and then I got to this boss and uh, I had to do it seven times because I finally got a Dragon Great Axe. Okay, come on now. You know, like, you can do it. Live stream, it's great. It's a lot of, it's definitely a theory, or not a theory, it's definitely a idea that is fun in the moment. Less fun watching, like, from a back thing. <clears throat> sippy break. Everyone take a sippy break. Hydration is important, and it starts with you! Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. There we go. That should have healed me before I got shanked. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 jank at its finest. Monster Hunter music? I know. Only the finest here on stream. I am really happy with the, uh, the music I've gathered over the past two years. It makes for really good streaming music, weirdly enough. I guess that makes sense, though. I mean, if it makes sense, if it's good for talking over on a video, it'd be good for talking over on a stream. There we go. Let's just take our time. Let's just take our time. Bandit knife! <laughs> I really like the bandit knife. Ah, good, good, good. What sort am I using? This is the Astora, uh, Astora Straight Sword, I think is what it's called. Yeah. It's a holy sword. It's a good time. Do I watch Game Theory? Nope. Not anymore. I used to watch it a little bit, and then they... I don't know, I just got, I lost interest. I'm not sure if, it, if the content actually changed, or if my if I changed, I'm not sure which. Oh, that was a problem. Ow. Got some brisk tea for your sip break? Excellent. Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> oh no. You're the cycle that game, plays games without music playing? Uh, that's usually me, but considering we're not using this footage for anything and we're uh, just kind of having a good time, uh, I figured we'd have some background music going in the background. They franchised? Ah, uh, see, there you go. They got too meme heavy? Also a problem. I, I will say that, I cannot watch any video or YouTube channel that it's like that just constantly interjects memes into the content. You know, like, they'll be playing and then suddenly that jarring, like, actual, like, hey, like, here's the meme you've all seen before, but we're gonna put it in now, and it's like, hey, like, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if people enjoy that or not. Maybe, that might be, maybe, maybe that works really well for younger audiences, I'm not sure, but for me at least, I'm just like, yeah, we get it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but we get it. So, I try to avoid memes whenever possible. I hope I don't do it too much. I make references all the time, though. You know, that's... That's a little different, I suppose. But, like, an actual meme, just interjecting a meme? Yeah. Fish and a chicken looks weird? What? <laughs> that sounds weird. Hollow Knight soundtrack is recommended for sure. Yeah. I've got a couple of those on this playlist. Uh, hopefully one of them makes an appearance. Nice challenge. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> was the previous song from Bugdum or something like that? Uh, I did hear... I wasn't really listening, but I do... Uh, I did hear uh, some Bugdum in the back, so yes. Probably. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's shifted to more lore and theory crafting stuff? Okay, that makes sense. You know, and it's fine. You know, like, that's the thing about YouTube, is you kind of have to play around and throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. So... If you like uh, if you like doing theory crafting and things like that, then you know if it helps you help, if it helps you continue to make content that you enjoy, then you should absolutely do it. You know, I won't hold it against them. You know, whatever they're doing, I'm glad it's working for them. I just you know, it just wasn't for me. So, though personally, I think that I I definitely changed as an individual, like just due to life circumstances and things. So I think I just kind of wasn't the target audience anymore. Do I like Switch Axe? Uh, no. No, I prefer Charge Blade or uh, Light Bow Gun. Alright, Chibozo. Let's, what if I... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, what if I kill this dog real quick, but... Life had other plans. Alright, let's see if I can just 
Uh huh. One. Right, let's come down. And let's see if I can get you. Today's the day, boys. Today's the day. There we go. All right. Now we just need to not fuck this up. <laughs> That's all we need to do. It's just that simple. Just don't fuck it up. Forehead. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, well, that seems... I disagree. I'm gonna give you the hard disagree on that one. I, I was up those stairs and out of reach, but sure, buddy. But it makes you feel better. I'll help you out. Then again, I did just somehow block with my shield while rolling, so I guess... <laughs> I guess it's only fair that we both get equal levels of jank here. Jeez. Okay. Well, hey, that that took like an hour, but hey, we did it. <laughs> now to speed run the rest of the game. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. I remember you. Nope. Completely missed. There we go. That's better. You're doing great. Keep it up. Just... Okay. Well, I didn't mean... You didn't have to... Try that hard, Jesus. Vibing with that Zelda OST? Hell yeah. Alright, we don't need to unlock that door. Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving, shall we? <clears throat> As a YouTuber, who do I watch? That is a good question. That is a good question. Excellent. Um, it depends. I do occasionally watch Dark Souls challenge runs and things just to see what the community is up to. Uh, kind of keep an eye on things, you know, like what's what's being popular, what's not, and see if there's any ideas that I can come up with that other people haven't done. Um, I like to watch... Oh, gosh. Uh, I do watch, like, some D&D &D comedy skits just because I find them funny. Um, let's, just, let's just keep going. We're not getting a large ember or anything. Let's just move. Uh, yeah, like some D&D &D comedy stuff. Like little short skits. Um, I like Door Monster. They do a great job. Um, for a little bit, they were struggling, but I think they're. Uh, I think I remember seeing that their creator, like their main writer, was having some mental health issues. But he's he says he's getting over it all right now, and he's doing better. And honestly, the content definitely reflects that. So uh, they're doing great again. Uh, but I like them a lot. And then I do watch a lot of. Uh, I do watch, as a guilty pleasure, a lot of, like, how X, Y, and Z YouTuber, or not even just YouTubers, but, like, how X, Y, and Z community figure uh, is no longer community figure and Y kind of videos. Like, you know, the downfall of X, Y, or Z. Um, I, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure, but I also think of it as research. Because it's like, hey, what should I never, ever do? And then I, <laughs> like... Why did this person fail at YouTube? Like, what what did they do wrong? Uh, and so I can look at that and be like, Oh, right, don't send inappropriate messages to underage users. Got it. You know, <laughs> like, like stupid stuff like that. But, you know, some of them, some of it, a lot of it's like that. And you're just like, ah, just, why would you ever do that? You're such an idiot. But uh, some of it is actually useful information. Like, hey, like, just the way they handled their channels. Or, like, uh, what, was, what was one that happened... That wasn't really any fault of their own, really. Uh, or, oh, Smosh. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember Smosh. Um, but they were, like, one of the original channels on YouTube. They were huge when we were all growing up. Like, they just they just got it. I don't know what it was. They just understood what, we, what YouTube wanted. Um, but the problem was that they, uh, they fell victim to, like, corporization, basically. Um made some bad business deals and it really screwed them over so that kind of stuff is good for me to watch too because like oh okay yeah i should not sign anything that has this kind of legal documentation and things like that and that but that's all i will say that's all behind the scenes back uh not backlogs but behind the scenes youtube stuff that a lot of people probably don't know about um the business side of youtube um but uh but yeah there's a lot to it and i can see why so many people get overwhelmed or kind of goof up when it comes to their channels. Like, it's it's a lot. Like, if you ever think of a YouTuber who's, like, 16, you know, like the younger YouTubers, like the Minecraft YouTubers and stuff, and when they explode out of nowhere and you're like, wow, why why did this all happen to their channel? Like, what's going on? Like, why are they 
Why is everything goofing up for him? Um, the business side of YouTube is very legal and very legalese heavy. And so a 16 year old isn't going to know how to navigate that. Combined with probably the mental pressure of like social, the mental social pressure, I mean. Uh, you're just, you're 16, you don't know how to do it, handle that. Like, how do you handle, you can barely handle like being popular in your own high school class. How are you going to handle like knowing 500,000 people watch you? And are making opinions of you every day. Like, as a, as someone who's older right now, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's fine. But when it comes to like the younger younger creators, I feel so bad for them because that I, that cannot be good for your your upbringing. You know, like that's that's a lot of time you need to just spend on developing yourself, and I don't think you can do it as like a popular creator. At least I don't think a lot of people can. Let me put it that way. But that's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. So, you remember Smosh? Yeah. Smosh was awesome until they sold out. See, and that's the thing. Yeah. Smosh is still big even with newer kids. Source, you're 16. Okay. Well, see, there you go. But I think a lot of their older audience is very much like, no, this is not the Smosh I remember, and this is not what I, you know, not what I came here for. But again, not a problem. Oh, I forgot about the wizard. Yeah, that, that is going to be a problem. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's just perspective, but a lot of people that remember the old Smosh don't really like their new content. Did I hit him? Nice. Him in the face! Pew. Yeah, got him. Alright, so we're gonna have to hug this area because I forgot about the wizard. Everyone forgets the wizard. Give me the tail. Give me the tail! I don't even want it. Just give it to me. <laughs> there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Where's the face on that thing? Ah, uh, it's the tiny little crocodile-looking head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now yeah, we're okay. <laughs> it's up there somewhere. There we go. That's better. Oh, good's buffed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's not what we needed. I hate it. Thanks. Eh. Yeah, so we just have to stay the hell away from him for the next few minutes here, and we should be fine. Yogg's cast. Yeah, see, that's an, that's another example of, like, just a company that just hits bad times, you know? And I've, I've watched that one, too. Just, like, what did they do wrong? And I think, I think if I remember correctly, their problem was that they got stuck in a rut. They didn't want to change the content. Uh, they kind of just stuck to Minecraft when, even when it became unpopular. And they pigeonholed themselves so hard that they, like, anyone... They really couldn't get out of it, you know? Like, it was just... If they did anything else, people would have been like, what is this? You know, which is a problem. Which is why I try to focus on variety. I know a lot of people are like, do more Dark Souls content. And it's like, yeah, I know it's really, really financially good for me to do Dark Souls content. But I also don't want to be known as just the Dark Souls guy, you know. So I, I do other stuff. Like Bioshock and XCOM and Stardew. Alrighty. So we did this. We already did Blight Town, so we don't need to go that way. Go team. I didn't actually need to do any of this, but yeah, it's fun. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Gray Man. You too. Take care of yourself. Variety seems tricky to do as a YouTuber. I agree. I agree. It is definitely not financially viable to be a variety tuber. Um, the algorithm very much likes it when you do the same thing over and over again, <laughs> because it because it knows what to do. It's like, I understand you make Dark Souls content, therefore, anyone who watches Dark Souls, I should give them your video. It's like, yes, you should. But then you make Stardew, and it's like, it looks at you and goes, this is not Dark Souls content. And you go, no, it's not. And it says, I don't, so I shouldn't promote it to anyone? You go, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. But uh, we're trying. Like I said, I don't need, I don't need this channel to make millions of dollars. I don't need this channel to have millions upon millions of views although it is pretty cool I, i'm i'm very excited that one of the videos i've made has crossed the million barrier that's very cool 
Um, but we don't need it. I don't... It's, I'm not trying to be Mr. Hotness over here, you know? I just want to play. <laughs> I just want to play games. <laughs> Redeemer! Welcome back! Thank you so much for joining. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to make enough money to survive. Ow, this is gonna end badly. Uh, make enough money to survive while also simultaneously still having fun. So, just trying to make a hobby into a, into a job, if that makes any sense at all. Without it, without the hobby turning into a job, that's the trick. So, mm -mm -mm. they want consistency. Yeah, yeah, algorithm doesn't do that. What do I think of Darcel jumping? It is bad. <laughs> it is not good. <laughs> Uh, any interest in any of the Piranha Bytes games? Like, I, I, you know, I've never heard of those, so I can't say one way or the other. Apologies. Two hours in and no Lord Vessel? I mean, we're heading to uh, Sense Fortress right now. No one said we were speedrunning. Hi, Lemon. Hello! Flegal. To be honest, you prefer some with variety rather than stick to a single game? Yeah, me too. You know, and that's kind of where I'm at. It's just like... I like Dark Souls a lot, don't get me wrong. But, uh... And it is my relaxation game of choice. But at the same time, you can only do so much in Dark Souls before you start hitting old content, or you start hitting just, like, way too ridiculous kind of stuff. Like, that's where we're kind of getting at with uh, Salt and Sanctuary, which is why I've got one last video for that one. But at this at this point, I'm kind of at the point of, like, well, I could play this game with, like, just half a controller. Or we could go do something else. So we're gonna do that. All right. Blame the Capra Demon. Exactly. I've ever tried Kataria Fables? Never heard of it. Sorry. What's your fashion souls? Uh, the Elite Knight armor. <laughs> Bet you couldn't see that one coming. <laughs> hmm. Man, we are just. In case anyone was wondering, apparently we're doing a no upgrades run. <laughs> I guess <laughs> if that's a, if you wanted this to be a challenge run of any kind, we are doing a no upgrades run. How am I doing? Good day so far. It's a good day so far. I'm having a good time. Hi, is this normal? Is this a bird? <laughs> yes, this is normal. This is just me just playing the game, and that's it. First rule of content creation: if I start to feel like an obligation, step back and try something else. Exactly. Yeah, whenever I feel like, oh, you know, I, I didn't get enough views this month, I should probably put out another Dark Souls video, I'll immediately go through my entire backlog and be like, or we could find a game and do something else, and then I do that. So, seems to be working. Seems to be working so far. Love the Bioshock video? Well, thank you. You know, initially I was like, I was a little concerned, because like, oh, well, it didn't do very well, but I looked back at it recently, it's like, oh, no, wait, it just took a little time to kick off, that's all. Okay, apparently I am not allowed to sit at this. Ah, that's why. I've noticed that with a couple of my videos. Like, the Dark Souls ones take off immediately because the algorithm knows what to do. It just says, like, yes, Dark Souls, promote. Um, but with other stuff, like uh, Stardew Valley, uh, XCOM videos are always a little slow. Uh, like, Bioshock was the same way. Those ones, like, it kind of doesn't know what to do. Oh, boy, they're back, baby. Um, they found a new catchphrase that I haven't destroyed yet. There we go. Take care of that. That should take care of that. Um, sorry about that. What was the same? Um, we need a janitor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, my, my mods are all sleeping. Um, or busy. But yeah, no, it's it's been uh, it's it's just a little slow burn, and slow burn is fine. I don't mind. It. Like I said, I don't really care if it's a slow burn or not. I just it. It builds my confidence when a video takes off, but at the same time, I know it's just the YouTube algorithm doing its thing, and the more subscribers we have, the, the more likely we are to just kind of have people just watch the video, so if we just keep doing that, we're good. Uh, which Dark Souls challenge would you say was a lot more underwhelming than you thought it would be? Um, that is a good question. What would that be? I don't know. 
I guess it's not, I don't have it recorded, but the Soul Level 1 challenge was actually very underwhelming, considering that Pyromancy just takes off. Um, yeah, I'd say that. Although I will say with Manus, he's too fast for Pyromancy to work, which is interesting. Uh, so you have to resort, or at least I had to resort to a heavy crossbow <laughs> to taking care of him. But you've all seen that video, so <laughs> you've, all, you've all seen how the crossbows work. So that uh, once we figured that part out, it was pretty easy from there. Just took a little bit of an adjustment. This is the calmest music for a sense fortress. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's made by Coffee Shop. It's a story game, so I can't say I've played it, but I think, and unfortunately, I think the developer actually passed away, um, which is a shame. But his music is spot on, very relaxing. Definitely music to do anything to, for sure. The algorithm works recently. I apparently wasn't subscribed even though I was seeing your videos pretty regularly. Let's just say I fixed that issue. Well, thank you. You know, and I, I always worry because I never tell anyone to subscribe or like the videos, or at least not very often. I, maybe once in a while I'll mention it in the end of a video, but I never, I'm never like, like and subscribe. And I know everyone says like, yeah, no, if you say that, <laughs> You'll get like 50% more subscribers. You just people forget, and they because they're just clicking through videos and enjoying themselves, and they're not always subscribed, and that's just the way it is. And I get it. I do the same thing, but uh, I also don't like being pushy. So <laughs> it's the reason I don't take half of my sponsors. It's the reason I don't really promote the channel very hard. It's just I don't. I'm just kind of trying to not do the business side of things as much as possible. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll pay the price for that eventually, I'm sure, but it's all good. You gotta show your own content, no shame in it. No, I know, I know. I know. I should, but, like, at the same time, I don't know, it just feels gross, man. And I will say, I've, what I've noticed with most of the jobs I've had in the past is that I, as much as I understand, like, businesses need to operate, Things need to happen. Shilling needs to happen occasionally because money makes the world go round. Um, when it comes to that kind of thing, a lot of times my morals will get in the way and I'll be like, no, I'd rather just not. <laughs> you know, I've left more than one job because it became very uh, financially motivated. And I was just like, I just don't want to anymore. So it's unfortunate, um, you know, but... That's what we try to avoid. So I'll occasionally say it, and if all of you would, like and subscribe whenever you could think of it, if you haven't already. I always appreciate it. The algorithm, of course, loves it when you do that. But outside of that, we're just going to let this uh, play out all natural. You know? Like, I'd say that about uh, probably 125,000 of my subscribers are probably just here because they like me. Which is great. Oh, someone's having a tantrum. You know, we didn't have to do anything gross or weird to make that happen, so... If we just keep that method up, I'll be happy. The anti-capitalist king. Kind of funny, considering that <laughs> one of the in-jokes is that capitalism always wins. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're trying. I will say, it's been nice that I can actually read chat today. <laughs> I like my challenge runs, don't get me wrong, but this is this has been nice. Being vague about it, what kind of jobs did you leave? Um I left I could be I could be specific a little bit. Um ooh, watch the kick there, my man. Uh, I used to work for the post office at one point. Um and while they are not much to most people most people surprised, they are not a government agency, if you can believe it or not, the USPS. Um so they don't get funding from the government. PM, thank you so much for joining. Much appreciated. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy the backgrounds. Um, because they're not a government agency, they have to kind of make money because they're a business, <laughs> you know? And so I don't know if you've noticed, but like you'll get advertisements in your mail. Um, that is because the post office needs to pay its bills and advertisers pay money, believe it or not. Ooh, that damage. <laughs> Um, so, with that being the case, uh, 
what I noticed as a as a mail carrier was that more and more often, the ad, I was giving out more ads than I was giving out mail. You know, and I was just like, ugh, I can't. I just can't. Like I was just, it was just too much. So I uh, so I quit. And it did something else. I have uh, probably left maybe about five or six jobs because of that kind of mentality. You know, just just not for me. You know. It's fine. It's something I learned about myself is that like, while I can appreciate the whys and the under I understand why things happen, um, it's just not something I'm ever really comfortable with is when something becomes primarily focused on making money. And so when that happens, I just move on to the next thing. Stefan, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Fellow postal worker, though? <laughs> though you've worked in IT for ours? Oh, I see. Yeah, so you're on the other side of things. You're on the inner workings, you get it. Lightning is the best. It really is. Although, God help me with, uh... <laughs> God help me with this next one. Quit your job yesterday? No, you said quit, not, not fired, so that's... I assume you had a good reason. So that's good. I hope, uh... I hope whatever you have coming next... Uh... Is good for you. Honestly. And I hope that you quit for... I'm sure you quit for good reasons, so... Um, honestly, personal health and personal mental health is always more important should always do that and when a job is pushing you too far you really should just kind of at the very least evaluate what's going on and figure out if you want to keep doing what you're doing or if you'd like to try something new now I'll always advocate of course for um, you know like having something else lined up before you quit a job just that way you don't uh, you know get stuck in a bad situation but that said like I know that doesn't always work out so Whatever it is, though, I hope things go well. Has YouTube streaming worked better for me than Twitch? Let's put it this way. I got my first Twitch paycheck yesterday. <laughs> I know I don't stream, I don't stream on Twitch uh, anymore, but I got my first Twitch p paycheck yesterday for a hundo dollars after two years. Whereas uh, YouTube streaming gives me a check every month, so that's nice. Uh, yes, YouTube is much better than Twitch for me. Not only because my audience is here, um... But also just because YouTube doesn't nickel and dime you every which way. And honestly, YouTube is only behind in like three or four features at this point. As far as Twitch is concerned. Like Twitch is just not a good platform for streaming gaming anymore, I don't think. I know that was their initial pitch, but I don't think they... they def they're just... The way they run the rules and the way they run the ship is just not okay with me. And then combined with how much money they take from each cut, I'm just like, I don't know how anybody does this full-time so so yes YouTube has been much better for me than twitch broke mage if you want perspective on how big your channel is if each subscriber sat in a seat they fit into two SoFi stadiums that was the stadium with the last Super Bowl was in you'll fit two SoFi stadiums wait really so we have enough subscribers to fill two Super Bowl stadiums <laughs> Jeez, that's a uh, that's wild. Ooh, ooh, don't, don't. Okay. Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. I know, man, I'll be honest. Like, there was a certain point where I just kind of lost track of how to even quantify the subscribers on this channel. Do it. Yeah, we did it. Um, <laughs> easy. Easy game. <laughs> Uh, I know back when we were first starting, I was like, man, we got 50 subscribers. That's like a whole bus. And that's and that's crazy if you think about it. Like, imagine yourself, if you will, um, standing at the front of a bus and everyone in the bus is listening to you. That's what 50, that's what 50 subscribers is. Now imagine that you're standing in front of, like, your entire high school class giving a speech for, like, graduation or whatever. That's, like, probably, depending on where you live, uh, between 100 and 10,000 people is like and now we're at 150 and i'm just like i don't know what to do <laughs> like you know i just like i don't know how to visualize that but uh there you go it's uh two football stadiums full so what you're saying is super bowl backlogs yeah sure uh-huh <laughs> is this a faith run yeah pretty much i'm playing like i normally play which is just a paladin a cleric paladin yeah so but yeah no it's uh it's absolutely wild what made me want to do challenge runs? Um, you know, I'll actually go over it a bit in the next 
video that's coming out whenever I finally get that one done. Uh, but basically, it was pure accident. Um, ow. I initially was going to do... Like I started to do with the shorts, where I was going to play a game, get my thoughts on it, and then go to the next game. Like, it was supposed to just motivate me to actually get into my backlog. Um... But then I played Salt and Sacrifice, at, or Salt Sacrifice, Salt, Salt One, Salt and Sanctuary, as my um, as the next game in the series. Really enjoyed it, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna challenge run this. Like, what if I did this? And then I did it. Did that work? Oh, he didn't follow me. Well, that's new. Usually, he just runs right off. Come on. Hit that corner a little too hard. Oh, wow. Okay. Who who gave you an AI patch? <laughs> ah, well, not that great of an AI patch. Anywho. Uh, but yeah, so I was I did a challenge run for Salt and Sanctuary, just for laughs. Um, and not only did the audience really enjoy it, but it got the attention of the developer. And they're like, hey, wow, this is great. You know, I've always wondered if anyone could do this, and someone did it. I was like, huh? You know, like starstruck. I was like, "Wow, real people noticed." And so, not real people, you know. What I mean, like a, a video game developer, someone from the industry that I love so much noticed. Um, and so, when that happened, I was like, "I guess I'll do that again." And then people really liked that, so I did it again and again and again. And before you know it, uh, here we are. So, happy accident, just like all good things in life. Just like all good things in life, it was a happy accident. <laughs> Red Mage, help me, I'm scared. Sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to scare you. He didn't take the corner too hard? I know, right? He, that's so weird. Every other challenge run I ever do, he does, and that one he's just like, Wait, I'm learning. <laughs> We've officially been playing this game for too long, apparently. No, Solaire, I know. I know. He's not dead. <laughs> he's okay. I just didn't, uh... You know, didn't get him here. I'll leave him where he is. Real people noticed. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> we're, you're right, we're all bots. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is like when you're just starting out, you're like, the first time you, your video hits 50, you're like, wow, that's amazing. 50 people watched my video. Is that all my family? Like, <laughs> is that just me refreshing the page? Like, you, you have to be concerned that there's real people watching your video, not just like you and your mom and your dog. <laughs> you know? So, when that happened, I, that, that kind of confirmed it that somebody else that wasn't like immediate family or something was watching. Which is strange. Although I will say it is completely weird to me that like family members and friends like watch my stuff. It's just like, <laughs> you guys aren't really the target demographic. You don't have to watch my videos. It's okay. Like, I, I appreciate the support. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Um... But when <laughs> you've got, like, Grandpa Lemon and stuff watching the videos, he's like, he always like, well, I don't understand a word you're saying, but it looks good. <laughs> so, and so I'm just kind of like, okay, thanks. Thanks, Pops. You know? <laughs> so it's just, it's just funny. I don't know. It's, I very much appreciate the support, but if they stopped watching, I would not blame them one bit. Because <laughs> they don't know what's going on. <laughs> so. Ah, oh, this is weird. It's weird. Uh-oh, these two. I know, right? We're gonna do our best here. We should be okay. We should be able to get rid of Smo, no problem, but Ornstein's gonna be a problem. I can tell you that already. He is lightning resistant. And that is all we have right now. Eh. Oh, you butthole. Almost there. Almost there. Is Grandpa Lemon here? No, probably not. <laughs> he doesn't watch live streams. Much like much like me, uh, he is a very busy person at all times. Just actively keeps himself busy. So he he, he just catches in on things. I, he likes to check the subscriber numbers. He likes that. He likes to keep an eye on how the view counts are doing and how subscribers are going. Because I think you know you think about it. Like think about God for most of you. Think about your dad. <laughs> no, that's that's too young. Think about your grandpa um, trying to watch a YouTube video from like a video game YouTube. Let's put it that way. Uh, 
they're not gonna get it. You know, they, <laughs> they don't know. And so, but it's okay. But they, what's, what they can't understand, ow, uh, what they can't understand is the numbers. Numbers make sense, it's a business. Okay, sure. So, that's what he does. Uh, <laughs> and I'm completely okay with that. Because like I said, the fact that he pays attention at all to what I've got going on is just, it's, I, I really appreciate it. So, you like watching my videos because every once in a while you learn something new? Well, thanks. I'm glad you do. Grandpa Lemon was like, who is Tony? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't. He's never mentioned Tony before. He likes the voices. Uh, pro tip for this game. Help people defeat Capra with the lightning spear so that you can get great lightning spear before the depths. Oh. If, li <laughs> if PvP and co-op was active, I would totally do that. Raquana, thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your back stuff. And by back stuff, I mean... Backgrounds. That's what I meant. My brain is starting to die. <laughs> Am I up for some Monster Hunter Rise? Uh, I need to play pretty much all of the other Monster Hunters to completion first before I will allow myself to buy another Monster Hunter game. <laughs> I have not. Uh, I have not been very good at keeping up with that series, and I feel bad, and I don't feel like I should push on to the next ones until I complete the ones I have already. Right. The year is 2059. The Dark Souls servers are still offline. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Back stuff. Backlogs and backrubs. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Storm Reborn. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate that. Same goes to you. Enjoy those emotes. What the hell? And uh, also the backgrounds that are available in the community tab of the channel. Have I done anything in Iceborne? I have not played Iceborne. I own it. I should play it. I have not. Have I thought about doing Fallout challenge runs? Yes. Um, I have. I don't quite know what to do just yet since Mitten Squad has it pretty much on lockdown. Um, we'll find something to do. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. Because it is getting uh, a little later in the day, and I do have things to do today. But So let's ground out this stream by just kind of sitting down, relaxing. I'm going to put on some nice music, and we're just going to have a little chat. We're just going to chat a little bit. How's that sound? This music's a little too upbeat for me and for what we got going on. Let's just do this. All right, YouTube, work with me here. I see, I should have specified I wanted Coffee Shop the video game, not Coffee Shop in general. <laughs> Let's see. That should do it, I think. Nope, this is not the right one. Oh, it's Coffee Talk. It's Coffee Talk. That's why. I am a dumb. There we go. Alright. Relaxing music. Relaxing sit. Let's just have a relaxing sit, shall we? Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. <laughs> Nick, capitalism against Ornstein? Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> we'll take that, we'll take that mental capitalism, we'll throw it towards the next time I have to fight him. That's how we'll do it. ZK, thank you so much for joining, really appreciate it. My guy. Enjoy those emotes, enjoy your wallpapers. You really like how the regular playthrough is a faith build? You know, that's just how I like to play. I like, uh, I like having a religious character, um, who basically evokes God's wrath on anything that's going on. It's just a good time. Not doing a challenge run and died on <laughs> Ornstein and Smo. I know. <laughs> They're still hard. To be fair, I guess the challenge run this time was uh, not upgrading anything. So, what music is this? This, uh, well, if you meant before, that was Streets of Rage. Uh, currently, we're listening to Coffee Talk. All right. Uh, Mitten Squad has the third ones unlocked, but the second one's always a place to do. Well, that'll be difficult. I haven't actually played through the first and second one. Yeah. <laughs> Magically challenged. <laughs> yeah. What's my favorite moment in the original Dark Souls? Uh, I like when... Oh, what is it? Honestly, Plin Plin Plon. Not only because of the music, but also just because it's like when you realize, like, oh, wait... I'm the bad guy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or you, or you can be, you know, so something like that. 
Please lo-fi Dark Souls beats for relax relaxation next. Um, let me see something. Let me see something. Because Spencer has sent me a couple previews of the lo-fi stuff he's been working on. Let me see what I can get you guys. Oh, look at all this. All right, so here's what we got. Um, let's see if this is the samples. That's the dialogue I gave him, but we want demos. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna give you guys uh, a little sample, shall we? Now, let's see, I don't know. We we'll have to be careful here, because he's got a lot of the demos in here, and I don't know which ones are the done versions, so don't take any of these as final versions. Okay. So this is just a little sample of what's going on. But let's listen to some Garmin the First Hunter, shall we? Let's see if I can get this to work. Let's see. Let me see. I might need to turn it up on your end. Here we go. Yeah, let me know if you guys can hear it. You can hear it? Alright, fantastic. You there! Hunter! Didn't you see the warning? <laughs> Turn back at once. Turn back. For the hunter will face the hunter. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh. Yeah, so he's been playing around with all the souls music we've been sending him and trying his hand at things he's got some good shit man he's he's uh he's been playing around with it a lot it's great so everyone say hi to jura in the background yeah mm -hmm. yeah stanley thank you so much yeah Did Lugwood get sent to him? I don't know. Who's been playing with the music? <laughs> My buddy Spencer. He does a lot of music. He goes. He has a YouTube channel. Um, he's done some music for me in the past. Uh, but basically, he is making a one-hour Dark Souls remix for us all that we'll be putting on the channel eventually. So, yeah, should be good. Um. So while that's playing in the background there. Um, <laughs> just letting that run. Uh, let's see what people were asking here. Have you ever played Dark Cloud or its sequel? No, I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Let's see. You started doing a Havel run, let's see how it goes. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck walking everywhere. Excited for any new games? No, I haven't really heard anything that's really got my uh, attention as of late. So, have I ever tried Binding of Isaac? I have. I have. It's pretty good. Let's see here. All right. What's the channel? Uh, yeah, it's a good call. Let's uh, let's get that for you guys. Um, here I'm gonna put this on pause there, just because there's a little bit of talking on there. So we'll just go back to coffee talk. But there's a little sample for you guys. It is the good shit. Um, and uh, when it comes out, we will be promoting the hell out of it for sure. Uh, let's see. But Spencer, his channel, we'll post it in the thing here. Here he is. Um, where's my chat box so I can put it? There we go. There's the link right there. If you guys want to see any of his music stuff, he does a lot of cool things. Uh, you should definitely check him out. Like I said, he'll be making us our, our official lo-fi Dark Souls eventually, but uh, but yeah, it's a good time. Oh man, did I ever pick up XCOM 2? I did pick it up, I haven't played it just yet. So, we're getting there. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. You think the Souls uh, got removed from Spotify? Oh, they might have, yeah, maybe. 
Ever listened to the Elden Ring synth with covers? I have not. No. Is this done through Twitch or just YouTube? Just YouTube. Just YouTube. What Monster Hunter games do I have and or I've played? I've played all of the ones up to Monster Hunter World. Um, and I own them all. Uh, Monster Hunter 1, <laughs> also known as Monster Hunter Freedom, is jank as hell, and I love it. Uh, Monster Hunter 3, I think, is the one I played the most. Uh, or 3 Ultimate, I guess. And then, um, you know, still working through the rest of them. Ever played Ultra Kill? I have not. No. Popping in to tell you that you're easily my favorite YouTuber. Admire the dedication. Your sense of humor is always amazing. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever tried a Subnautica? I'm afraid of water. <laughs> or dark water, I should say. So that is a horror game in my mind. Um, but I have heard really good things about it, and I do have interest in it, so I'll probably get around to it closer to Halloween. Have I ever tried Control? I haven't, no. No, I haven't tried that one yet. Is there any game you've liked because of the jank or not finished aspects? Uh, yeah, Salt and Sanctuary. Very janky game. Very unbalanced, but uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Binging the videos while eating is nice. Oh, good. <laughs> I appreciate that. How I got into gaming and how often I played them before doing YouTube. So I got into gaming when I was five years old, uh, aka when none of you were alive. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, I got into it because my cousins at the time passed down their gaming console because they got something newer. So like my cousins got the new Game Boy Color, so I got a Game Boy. And we're talking the chunk. The old one that was green screen, no color, Tetris only. And that kind of kicked it off. After that, I got a Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, N64, so on and so forth. Basically, I just was a pass-me-down kid as far as gaming was concerned. And because of that, I was hooked. I just couldn't get enough of it as much as my parents tried to get me off of it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that's how I got into it. And nowadays, I play it at least once a day. Um, well, not every day, but I play, I try to play at least once a day because it's kind of my relaxation time and my me time, you know, so, and now it's partially a job. Oh, uh, let's see here. If you're scared of water, did Bloodborne freak you out with all the fish and squid aliens? No, it's the fish and squid and things don't scare me. It's the dark water that scares me. Being underwater in the dark where you're like, I felt something touch me <laughs> and I don't know if it was seaweed or not. That freaks me out. Too many, too many aliens in the dark down there. Tagged you on Twitter for Arch. You might be able to ask permission for use of the Lo-Fi stuff. Let's see. You might be able to ask permission for to use for the Lo-Fi stuff. Uh, don't get the last half of that, but okay, cool, thanks. People really like Skull here. Who's Skull? What is Skull? <laughs> Tetris is so fun. Oh man, you and Mrs. Lemon would get along. She's a Tetris master. There's no way that you're much older than me. I'd rather refuse to believe that. Ah, uh, well, sorry. <laughs> I hate to tell you. But uh, you are not the oldest man in the room. Or woman, depending. Uh, you started on regular Nintendo. We might as well be close in age. Maybe. You never know. You in you two inherited a PS2? I think a lot of people inherit their first console. And uh, that's usually how it begins. The first game you ever played was House of the Dead 1 in the arcade. Oh, man, I feel bad for your quarters. <laughs> I played the old Jurassic Park arcade game back when that was a thing. House of Dead was after that. And then the Simpsons arcade game was a big thing, too. I remember that in my old Chuck E. Cheese. Man, oh, man. You're 28 and you feel old? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, uh, the fact that I'm alive and was g and gaming for that does not make me feel bad. Let's see, the fact that I was alive and gaming for that. Okay, I don't quite understand. Sorry, I must have missed some context there. Uh, what happens when your Game Boy runs out of batteries? You get more batteries. Or your parents get tired of buying you batteries and they buy you rechargeables. So, you know. The unknown scares you, I guess? No, it's not the unknown. It's, I, it's the fact that I know what's in the dark water and I can't see it. That's what bugs me. That's what bugs me. Thalassophobia? Maybe. Uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we're not afraid of the dark, we're afraid of what's in the dark. We know what's in the dark, and that's why we're scared. Exactly. Yep. Ironic, considering you were submerged lemon. Hey, I don't have any problem with water. It's the dark water. Dark water. Yeah. Let's see. 
Which would you say had a sadder fate, Sif or Rotorius? Um, Sif, because she had to live through it. She had to keep going the entire time. Which is, uh, almost worse. <laughs> Let's see. So what's your age then? Older than you. Must be around 28. Eh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you sound like my dad, but younger. I might just have a young voice. You don't know. You don't know. Have you ever played Halo? I played the first and second one. Uh, I played the third one back when I was like on night shifts, so I don't really remember it. And after that, I don't remember anything else. Um, I did play Reach. I did play Reach. Reach was good. Uh, I didn't. I don't really like Halo very much. Um, mainly because I feel like it has artificial difficulty in the sense that anything above normal just becomes a bullet sponge, and that's not really fun for me. So. You know, such as it is. I like I like it to be skill based challenge, not artificial challenge. <laughs> I'm, I'm just entering my twenties. Don't scare me. Oh, you'll be fine. Let me put it this way: adult life gets busier, time will go faster. But everyone's saying like, "Oh, when you're thirty, you might as well be dead." Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. We're in our thirties now, and honestly, I'm the most alive I've ever been. I feel the best. I feel the best. I feel like I've know the most about myself at this current point in my life, and I feel great about everything that's going on. So, age is a concept. You don't have to be tired. One moment, please. Meet me up there. Hi. Yeah. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Speaking of busy, <laughs> life just called and says I have to get going. So, in any case, everyone, hope you're having a good time. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. Be good to one another. I'll see you all again soon.